All right, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. It's the channel. It's time. I'm going to unmute myself. We've got a real treat for you today. Let me let me just unmute. Oh, Boom. Hello, more. everyone. Okay. Uh, Hello. You should all now be able to hear me and everyone can hear you. Fingers crossed. Uh, so, yes, we have Overgrown today. Now, Overgrown is, I mean, you'll all have heard of it. It's a major, um, major RPG publisher. It is the next D&D. <laughs> it's it's going to destroy. It's going to destroy everything. And if if that turns out to be right, you heard it here first. Um, you may have heard it <laughs> somewhere else, keep... actually, but you specifically right now have heard it here first, and that means I am some sort of messiah, and you should send me all your money. <laughs> uh, but first, you should send Ben. Let me keep some all things. There, there are some things that are, I would like to keep. Don't destroy everything, please. Don't destroy everything. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like the skull. It has details for eyes. All right, we'll save the skull. We'll destroy everything Thank else. You. Um. So yeah, Thanks. Overgrown, I, I'm going to give a very brief introduction. Overgrown is a TTRPG about uh, animal hybrids, and it is, well, it looks fantastic. I want to point out that while the creator of the RPG is right here uh, and is running this for us, this is not a sponsored stream. I have not received a free copy of the game. I went and bought it myself long before uh, Ben got in touch and said, do you want to do, do a stream? Um, in fact, actually, I should probably put a link actually to Overgrown in the chat. But yeah, so this is, you know, I'm, I'm, I've fully paid for this because I saw it and I was like, oh, damn, I need it. So I'm, I'm going to get a link and I'll put it in the chat for you. Um, but you can also see on the screen are our characters as well. Um, I won't, I won't uh, introduce all of the characters. Um, I'll just introduce mine and then and then we'll hand over. Yeah. Uh, so you're, you're seeing down here, you're seeing Barry. Barry is primarily a bear, but has bits of bee and bits of blue whale. It's a, a triple B, uh, a triple B delight for you there. He enjoys sleeping, hibernation, and uh, well, because because I learned this about bears very recently, he enjoys creating uh, Im <laughs> uh, impromptu butt plugs out of leaves and dirt. Uh, which is what they do to hibernate <laughs> over the winter, apparently. They they just they shove it all up there. Um, yeah. See, so... This is what I love about this game. I, I created it, but I'm the one that's learning. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bean's like, you didn't know about the plugs? I didn't, okay. Uh, and now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over to, to Bruce just over there. Yonder beyond the bear. Uh, Bree, Bree, tell us all about your character. Okay, my uh, character is Quail, spelt C-O-1-L. Uh, she's an armadillo electric eel squirrel, and she's, well, she identifies herself as a hacker, but she's under the impression that hacking is actually the ability to cut things with electricity, as people could do when computers roamed the earth. There, I've put a link in just... Sorry, I was. So I went silent there because I was putting a link in. I've put a link into the chat, which is to the uh, the itch crowdfunding for Overgrown. Uh, I strongly recommend you take a look at it. It, it. Like already, there's plenty on that page which will explain this game, but you'll you'll about to see it soon. And we'll go over to Andres up there. Yes, hello. Uh, I should be playing Monty, who is a be the dragon shark octopus. You need no other explanation. Most people really. Most chompies. <laughs> the chompies. That, that's enough said, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and lastly, and certainly not leastly, we're going we're going to the the chairman of the board himself. Uh, ben, who's right above me, is running the game. Has made the game. Has literally made the game in this case. Uh, yeah, Ben, introduce your, yourself, I guess. And... Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Ben. Um, I have only actually been making uh, TTRPGs for a, a couple of years now. Um, and the whole point behind these games that I've been making is to make games that were simple to understand so that I could get my friends and colleagues who have never played these sorts of things to play. Um, and yeah, I spent like a year or maybe a year and a half writing a, a cyberpunk kind of game a while back. And uh, it was great. Played that with my friends and workmates and stuff and everyone loved it. Um, and then I tried to actually sell it online and no one cared. Um, and then, like, uh, when was it? Maybe May, uh, just on, on a whim, joined a Welcome to the Apocalypse game jam on itch. Came up with this weird idea of a, a nature-ridden apocalypse where humanity has completely died out. 
but uh, plants and animals have taken over and uh, Overgrown was born. Um, from there, like people just seem to have loved that idea and run with it and been like, oh my God, this is great. Uh, I, I, I don't know where the idea for the weird animal hybrids came from, but yeah, people love it. And this thing that took, I, I wrote that in like a month, kind of based on the same system as the Cyberpunk one I had before, but something that I'd written for 18 months did like 35,000 words on that no one cared and then I did this in a month and everyone's like oh my god love it so uh yeah at the moment I am uh, yeah as you said I've got the crowdfunding going on itch um and uh yeah I'm just hoping to raise enough to be able to get proper art um I've got a fantastic art artist who did the cover if you've seen the front cover it's fantastic they've really like nailed the the spirit of the game um and yeah hopefully I can get a, a full book made, um, full campaign, proper layout design and uh, real actual artists rather than me just mangling stuff with Photoshop. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, what you will see if you go on the itch funding page is um, some of the uh, animals that I've created using Photoshop. Uh, I think I've somehow developed quite a skill at uh, mashing animals together. Um, I made the, uh, the character arts for this lot today and, and uh, they're beautiful, aren't they? I, I personally, I, I love, I love Barry. I love, I, I, mean, I love all three of them, but I'm naturally, selfishly partial to Barry. Uh, yeah. In, in fairness, I, I said quite the challenge with, uh, with Octopus <laughs> Camouflage, specifically. <laughs> so, There's some things which are difficult uh, to represent in, uh, in visual yeah. form. You, you did well. <laughs> you can't see it. Represent that in visual form. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, currently... Yeah. This picture, Moti really stands out. That seems like the opposite of the effect. He, he, he's mid-transition, like he's, he's between okay. environments or something, right? Yeah, yeah um, so they're invisible. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll, I'll start with explaining a little bit of the, the mechanics of the game so that the people in chat actually understand what's happening. Um, it's, it's really very simple and I've explained very little to this lot as to how it actually works because there's so little to it literally um yeah anything you want to try and do that is kind of out of the ordinary more than just like walking across a path or something you roll a d20 for it and your score is how well you do that thing uh, you have your animal features um, which range from um, a plus one to a plus three and um, you uh you can as long as you can justify that feature being relevant you can add it to your role. So uh, for instance, uh, Nick is, uh, he's a bear, is his base animal. So that gives him plus three to anything that the bear can do. So uh, I don't know, climbing oh, a tree yes. or um, eating honey out of a beehive. Um, butt plugs. <laughs> yeah, or butt plug, yeah. Yes. Um, but uh, Nick also has chosen for his animal features, uh, bee sting at plus one, uh, bee wings at plus one and blue well flippers at plus one so yeah I, I, he probably can't use all of those things at the same time but i'd love to see him try um as many things as he can justify being relevant he can stack up so he could eventually he could have a, a plus six in a particular a role if he could figure out a way to use flippers sting and wings and be a bear at the same time so, I'll get good luck yeah uh, i look forward to hearing some of your nonsense justifications <laughs> That sounds like something a cannonball will end up with. <laughs> it's part of the challenge. <laughs> uh, and hopefully we'll see some fun things happen during this stream where they get crit fails or crit successes, which have special effects. Um, uh, yeah, d everything is relevant to the role. So um, the justifications, the developments, the character progression, everything is uh, relevant to what they happen to be doing during play. So. We'll see how we get on with that stuff. There's a, there's a couple of extra um, complexities to it in terms of like teamwork and assists and um, preparatory roles and that sort of thing. But uh, we'll get to those things if and when they come up. Um, yeah. Uh, what we did before we all started with this, once we uh, got the characters figured out, was we came up with some world features that these uh, these three came up with for themselves and um i think where we ended up with with what your 
kind of community that your your characters come from you all you all live together you all know each other from the past is that it, it's some sort of like i want to say like scooby-doo mystery machine kind of thing you've got what is essentially a living camper van which is a a cheetah tortoise or a, a cheetus um which is also the size of a whale and you live inside its shell and travel around from place to place solving mysteries like uh yeah like scooby-doo in that so um, yeah uh interesting choices there um i i like the idea of a gigantic very fast tortoise um so that's fun um ramming so yeah. <laughs> yes. um shall we shall we get into it then let's go um, so yeah, you're, um, you're, you've been tearing around the meadows. Uh, Nick's been popping out of the cheetahs every now and again to, uh, to pick up some pollen in the fields and frolic in the flowers. Sorry, I said Nick. I meant Barry. Nick's not actually been doing this. It's, it's just Barry. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and at some point your, uh, your, your travel uh, stops and you get a little visit from a, a messenger bird. Um, and it, it pops down on the shell of the, the, the cheetahs, and um, uh, it's actually this is a wild bird. This isn't a like a sapient bird. There are as well as these animals like yourselves that um, uh, can talk and form communities and do kind of human-like things like farming or um, hunter-gathering sort of stuff. Um, there's also just normal wild animals still. So. There's this carrier bird comes along with a little message attached to its uh, ankle, and you, uh, one of you, collects it and reads it, and it's uh, it's kind of a, a summons. It's it's uh, someone saying, "Oh, we've got this problem. We need you to come and sort it out." And you're used to this because you are a for some reason mystery solving trio in this overgrown world. Um, and yeah, this one uh, is a message from the deer farm. Um, there's a. a community of deer hybrids that do farming for some reason uh, and they are worried because their pumpkins keep on disappearing obviously pumpkins got to keep it seasonal um, uh, but they're also worried especially because um, there's signs that this uh, kind of plague that's been going through the lands there nobody knows much about but it's referred to as the darkness there's some signs that that might be present on the farm around this area where the pumpkins have been disappearing. So uh, as a renowned uh, mystery solving trio, you've been summoned to go and investigate this. Uh, unfortunately, the cheetahs has been somewhat foiled that um, the the woodlands is getting too thick in towards the, um, the area that you can't take the cheetahs all the way in. Uh, so the three of you will have to travel somehow between your um the, the current meadow that you're stopped up in and the deer farm so let's start off the night with a roll from each of you to travel transport yourselves from where you are to the farm um and this won't be a, a dangerous roll hopefully unless you Barry, roll you're, really really Barry, terribly. You're, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Barry, you're the next biggest one so i climb on top of Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, then, uh, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna flap my tiny wings, but just enough to to lift me off the ground, <laughs> and presumably also a tiny lizard off the ground. Go, All right, let's get moving then. Oh, that's a that's a nineteen plus one for B wings. Oh, nice. Starting it off with a twenty. Um, and uh, coil. What what are you oh. doing to travel? Uh. I'll uh, just uh, climb into the trees and start hopping from tree to tree. Okay, let's uh, let's have a scroll roll then. Okay, that is. Uh, oh, that's an eighteen plus three, so that's twenty-one. Blimey. All right, get your good rolls out early, lads. Uh, oh no. All right, Andres, uh, let's have a roll for you hanging on to uh, Barry as uh, as Monty uh, is being dragged through the forest. That's ten. Okay. Um, yeah, let's say, okay, so um, Coyle and Barry, you are you're tearing through the forest and um, 
uh, Monty is just kind of hanging on for dear life off the back of um, of uh, Barry, and actually he's That's hanging onto your your bee sting. <laughs> he's just like ah, <laughs> dragged through. He's you're, like you're, just, uh, ha- ha- you're just happy I haven't beat anything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think um, like the test. But yeah, it doesn't take you too long. Eventually, you, you get through this uh, forest and you come to a clearing where um, yeah, there's uh, there's quite a sizable barn in, in this clearing, and you can see there's some uh, some small fields set up. It's not a huge farm, but um, yeah, there's some there's some traditional wooden fencing and some uh, yeah maybe some some farming tools that have been rudimentarily um, put together and. You can see out the front of the barn is a um, a stag parrot or a starrot, you might say. Oh, ah, right. I, I want to make that joke earlier. Hanging on for dear life is very appropriate considering where we're headed. <laughs> uh, it's going to be that kind of stream. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. I can't stop him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very nice lang- bit of linguistics you've got there. It'd be a shame if someone played with it. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> um, so the, the starret uh, kind of wiggles its antlers towards you and motions you to come and uh, approach. Yeah. Drop down like, oh, I did my spine improper when I landed there. Come on then, Monty. Where's that squirrel about? I just hop down from the trees and do a three-point landing right in front of them. Oh, please. superhero landing! <laughs> That's dangerous for our knees. I, 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 I climb down off of Paris. Yeah, little, little bit shaken up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, you, you must be the, the, the mystery people. Um, thank you, thank you for coming. You have responded very fast to our message. Thank you. Um. We are, we are we are terribly terribly scared. Um, I, I take it you've heard about this uh, this darkness, right? The, it's been destroying whole communities, so the whole whole sections of forest just gone. Nobody knows what happened, but it, we are terrified. We saw some. We saw some. I don't know for sure that it's the darkness, but um, but I, let was me it, start. Let me start from the beginning. Light or was it quite dark? Oh, it's dim. It's dim. Oh, it does sound like it might be the darkness. It doesn't believe in a thing called love. <laughs> There's no no love coming from that stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we've been um, we've been making some pumpkins. We've been growing pumpkins this season. Uh, the the beavers. They uh, the, the beaver community built this uh, this lovely barn. The motions up to the barn. Um, I'm using my hands. Uh, stag parrot doesn't have arms. Maybe wings. It points its wing up at the barn. <laughs> um, uh, yes, the, the 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 beaver community kindly put this together, but we we owe them in in pumpkins. They they love the pumpkins apparently, um, and so uh, we we were growing these pumpkins, and they've just been disappearing, and nobody sees what's happened. No one, no one. There's no evidence, no tracks. There's nothing. Um, that seems a sign of them being like dragged into the forest or eaten on sight or anything like that. But uh, yes, the, the pumpkins are gone. Uh, maybe maybe a dozen, maybe a couple of dozen of them disappeared. But there is this this black liquid that has been appearing, and we're, we're dreadfully frightened. It's 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 very scary. And my my dear wife uh, Sneer, she's um she's uh she, she she's um expecting and uh, we're we're very um, frightened of bringing a, 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 our children into this uh this dark dark world uh, the 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 badgers that used to tend the land for us they they've retreated back to their sect and they they, they won't let they won't come anywhere near it anymore so um we we yes yeah, very very afraid um and you might want to talk to the possats they're up in the loft and um they've um they, 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 they've been around, but uh, I'm not sure they've seen much. They're, they're not the most useful of, um, uh, of, of companions in this area, but we, we, we take care of them nonetheless. Um, yes, may, maybe you can have a look and um, see what you can find out. Uh, and, 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 and hopefully that we can recover the farm from this darkness. Uh, well, of course, we're, we're happy to help. Of course, we'll, 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 
we'll have a look around and we'll chat the people. But uh, just one question: how how long were we fl flying for? Um, I don't know. It, uh, let, you, you did roll pretty well, so let's say you you travelled for like an hour from from your meadow. Oh yeah, but first of all, I'm gonna have to sleep for three or four months if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just we'll, gonna we'll be find back in some the dry leaves and make some strange grunting noises. Don't come and have a look. What do you What do you think, gang? Should we go and talk Don't to these? Don't think this is a time for a nap. These possats. I'm in. Because uh, he, he points kind of really the, the, the top. <laughs> They're, they're up there. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe one of you could climb up or um, fly up. Oh, yeah, or I've got whatever you like to do. I'll just. Yeah, you just have your up, tiny, tiny wings. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, just, yeah, I'll hop, just hop on Barry's head and uh, <laughs> just sort of uh, elevate her up. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I've got to Google now if, if the dragons can climb. <laughs> They've got quite big claws. I'd be surprised if they can. Yeah, yeah, they got. But fine. they also, yeah, yeah, they can climb. I'll climb. Okay, um, Barry, <laughs> let's let's have you roll for for B wings to see uh, how well, how competently you managed to buzz into the top of the uh, barn. Here we go. Uh, oh, seventeen plus one, eighteen. Damn! I was hoping you'd roll low and just shoot straight through the roof. <laughs> I'm just saving them for when they matter. Okay, so Barry very, very competently somehow um, uh, hovers up into the the loft somehow. of this um, barn <laughs> with uh, with Coil perched on top of him. And, um, and Andres, uh, Andres, how are you uh, getting up there? You're going to climb, or uh, yeah, I'm I'm climbing. Uh, I I think I only have uh, the camouflage option from Octopus, so mm -hmm. I do not get any climbing yeah. benefits from that, unless it's Makes my uh, you can you can just do a straight roll if none of your if none of your animal feet oh, apply. No, you can just I, do a straight I'm pretty sure. Uh, Beardy dragon I sounds think like they could be a dragon, yeah. Yeah. So that was about to be an eighty, but then it eighteen. I mean, and then it hit the teacup, so now it's going to be a total of five. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Sabotage. Yeah, it it maybe takes you a little while to get up there, so um, we'll, we'll have um. We'll have Coyle and Barry have a chat first, and maybe you can make it up there halfway through the conversation. <laughs> you just uh, scrambling up, just you, you're doing that thing where you just like, and then you slide down. Um, so yeah, the the two of you managed to get up to the uh, to the loft, and you can see three possum bats hanging upside down from the rafters, and uh, they're all asleep. I've just realised I'm pretty sure bees can't hover, so I'm going to have to try and land on the tree. <laughs> the bees not hover? I don't think they can. Isn't that the difference between them and hoverflies? Oh. Uh, do hoverflies make bunnies? Uh, make bunnies? Honey? <laughs> I think bunnies make bunnies. I don't think, can bees I think hover. bunnies make bunnies, yeah. <laughs> but not every honey makes honey. Um, in, in any case, you manage to get up to the loft of the uh, of the building, uh, and you're in a position where you are nearby. Let's say you're perched on another rafter next to the uh, the sleeping possats, um, and so, yeah, there's three of them. Uh, they all look like they might be related. All right, there, friends. What's um, been going on then? All right, one of them startles awake. It's like ah. Oh, oh, sorry. Right. Were you asleep? That was quite rude of me. Ah, oh, oh, all right, Governor. Ah, oh, I. Oh. We ain't had people up in this part of the building in a while, though. Hello, what are you up to? Well, there's a mystery, and we're mystery solvers. Can't you see that? Don't you see? Don't we look like it? Anyway, <laughs> there's a problem, right? All these pumpkins going missing, and maybe the darkness, and maybe you've seen something because you've got. And I don't don't say this the wrong way. If you've got massive fucking eyes, so <laughs> maybe you've seen something. I ain't seen nothing, bruv. Nah. 
Jimmy here. Jimmy here. He said he saw something. But this lazy bastard's asleep, isn't he? Oh, I hate it when yeah. people do that when they're lazy and they're just asleep all the all the fucking time. Can't right, I've seen it sort of. <laughs> Look, in fairness, in fairness, we is uh, nocturnal like. Uh, it's daytime, isn't it? Oh. So, uh, you want me to wake up, Jimmy? Yeah, if you if you can, quicker we get this done, quicker you can go back to sleep. Hey, right, Jimmy, Jimmy! Elbows him in the side. And Jimmy, Jimmy also startles awake. <laughs> a bit of a longer scream. He's uh, clearly a deep sleeper, not into us. <laughs> um, he startles awake and he stares you in the eyes. He's like, have I seen you around here before? Probably not, mm. but like I said to your friend, you do have massive eyes, so it's possible. I see everything, me. Mm. What do you want? Well, we're, we're asking about them pumpkins, what disappeared, you know? Massive things, round, orange, look a bit like the sun. Could be a bit confusing. You'd sweat yeah. and lift them. He, he stares at Coyle, he's like... You squirrel. I ain't seen a squirrel in these parts for a while. Hmm. Well, maybe I... Uh... I'm all about shocking people. Oh. <laughs> pumpkins, you say, eh? Yeah, I saw some pumpkins. Down in the field, eh? What about them? You see you took them. Haven't you had? They've gone missing. I don't suppose you know you've seen anything, have you? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I saw something. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. The, his, uh, his mate jabs him in the head. Nah, nah, you saw it. You said you saw it. You said plain dis... Yeah. I, mean, I don't believe him. I don't believe what he says, but he said the other day he saw it. I don't... Look, I don't know what I saw. don't know what I saw. It just went plop. Middle of the night. Just went... <laughs> Disappeared. Gone. Out of thin air. No, no... No creatures, and I know this sounds funny because it was night time and like might have been sleepy and whatnot, but uh, nah. It was there one second. I was watching it. Might have got distracted. Don't know. Maybe there's a glow fly or something. And it would have just gone. No, I, thought you were no I thought you were nocturnal. Shouldn't you have not been sleeping? Sometimes I sleep at night too. Let's not get on each other's oh. backs about sleeping too much, all right? Let's not, let's not get into hey. that one. Yeah, but yeah, it's fine to go both ways, but... Sleep is a valuable thing. We need our sleep. We, we do hard work with the... Um, I absolutely uh, agree. ...stuff. Hang, hanging about and whatnot. Yeah. We're, um, we're like the guard dogs around here. Except you let all the pumpkins get snatched, didn't you? Well, I mean, look, we like the pumpkins. We we love the pumpkins. We're we're hoping there's plenty of pumpkins left at the end of the season so that we go and uh, have some uh, pumpkin ourselves. But uh, yeah, no, look, like I said, it just went, just gone, disappeared. It wasn't even like I was looking in the sky because you know what? I ain't seen the ducks in a while. I ain't seen the ducks, and I keep on looking up at night. And I'm like, where are they? It's it's, it's 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 a bit early for them to have not migrated already. I was looking around and uh, no nah, no ducks, no birds, nothing swooped down. And then suddenly the pumpkin's gone. There's nothing in there. I saw nothing. Okay, can we tell if he's lying at all? <laughs> um, not I... nah, not really. Like, there's no um. There's no kind of mechanic in this game for, like, uh, intuition kind of stuff. It's just, uh, okay. yeah, if you uh, if you believe it or not, really. Um, hmm. You could, um, I mean, you, you could oh. always try and intimidate him if you wanted. You could uh, shake him around. You could uh, hmm. bear down on him or whatever. Oh, bear down on him, Nick. <laughs> no, I think I think Barry believes him. 
<laughs> I, I mean, uh, I was about to mention earlier when you said when the stack Starrett, I think it was, when mm -hmm. the Starrett mentioned his dear wife. <laughs> I was about like, we already made the dear joke once, so many times can you do that? <laughs> as many times as you need to. I, I reckon. Um, that's what makes the dough. Uh, let's say at this point that, um, that Monty manages to finally get up to the rafters um, and you've appeared up behind the uh, the third of the um, of the, the Possats um, who is still asleep. Um, and yeah, you can see the others are having a wee chat. I'm, I'm just going to be still and watch. Okay. Yeah. Just observing. Um, look, bruh, look. I'm tired. You woke me up from my my good daytime nap. So, uh, yeah, a unless there's anything else I can help you with, look. There's some pumpkins down there. There's some not pumpkins down there. Um, what you might want to look at is those weird mounds, because I'm pretty sure they weren't there before. You could have mentioned that earlier, not going to lie, but okay, we'll take a look at them. You didn't ask about the mounds, you asked about the pumpkins. I ain't a mind reader. No, you know what, that is on me. That is on me. I'll accept that. The <laughs> one's at my feet. Alright, I'm gonna why, deject Why do you sound hands. like an old man? <laughs> well, I figured, you know, he's, he's big, he's husky, he's gonna... He's maybe I want him to be wearing a flat cap. It's <laughs> all just gone from that. To be fair, he has been flying very fast, so uh, he's probably a little bit out of breath. He is, he's out of breath. He's trying... yeah. Those wings are very small compared to the size of Bear. That's... There was something just hanging on to his finger for a while. Yeah. He's big, but maybe he's a bit bumbling. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true, yeah. But yeah, I, I think... I think... Uh, I think... Barry's gonna turn around and head towards those uh, those holes, those weird mounds, those whatever in the pumpkin cool. patch. I um uh, did Coil stay on Barry this entire time, or did Coil uh, dismount? Yeah, I'm gonna say Coil um stumbled a bit because she wasn't expecting him to move, but it's still on him. Okay. Um, and the um, who took Monty a lift up the tree. It was the squirrel who would have presumably found it really easy to get up there. <laughs> you got to conserve your energy, you know. <laughs> uh, so Monty, uh, Monty just made it up. Uh, it seems like the conversation has ended. <laughs> um, what are you going to do? I'm not going to eat anyone, and I'm going to go back down. <laughs> if How else. specific? Yeah. Leap onto yes. the bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad you you were yeah specifically stated I'm not going to eat anyone yet. Very yeah. yeah, not yet. Okay, right. We'll keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> okay, so you're going to head out into the the field for the the, the pumpkin patch, as it were, and um, have a uh, have a poke around these mounds. Um, so yes, sure enough, you get down there, and there's a there's a small fenced off field, um, and yeah, there's, there's probably maybe a, a, a dozen or so pumpkins left there, but there's a lot of gaps where there used to be pumpkins, and they seem to be kind of sporadically spaced, sporadically spaced around these uh, these gaps. It's not like they've taken a whole bunch from a certain area and they've like gone. It's not like uh, there's been some sort of localized um, uh, pumpkin disease that's wiped them out or anything. Um, there just seems to be odd patches where there's a a mound and a missing pumpkin. Okay, uh, so I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to get away with this, but um, obviously the electric part of um, Coil's abilities come from uh, an electric eel, and one thing um, electric eels can do is they can basically sort of um, sense the uh, field in a conductive medium like water or I guess maybe damp earth, so could I just sort of do that to see if there's any anything unusual about the sort of topography? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Let's have a let's have a roll plus uh, electric eelness, which I think yeah. you've got plus two in. Yeah, plus two. Okay, that is a nine. Ooh. Um. Yeah, you kind of uh, you 
what is the word you, you spray some electricity around or something <laughs> you, you gotta tap your uh, your electricness on the on the floor and uh do try and do a little bit of um soil sensing um and as you do uh you you uh realize you've splashed into a little bit of um black liquid that uh you hadn't noticed before but the, yeah there, there was a little puddle of black li- liquid that splashes up you get a little bit on your tail um but uh you don't you don't really feel anything from uh, from the soil or from anything really um but uh, uh after doing this you realize oh yeah there is little blobs of this um this black liquid kind of just kind of scattered around not not huge puddles not like trails or anything just little dots of black black liquid uh, dotted around i'm gonna get my massive bear nose out and start sniffing around uh, you know just re- just start sniffing at the mounds and see if, see if i can get any sort of scent there bears i think have got quite a good sense of smell i'm pretty sure so yeah. i'm gonna try that are you, you just sniffing the mounds are you gonna sniff this you're sniffing everything I think I'll sniff every. I'll start with the mounds because I want. I want to see if I can smell like any other creatures or anything like that. Because my assumption is that they've not been like vacuumed away, so someone's got to have grabbed them and shoved them down these holes. But <laughs> all right, yeah, go for it. Um, uh, roll for bear. Okay. Adding plus three. That's roll for 13. bear. That's not the same as you hear me. <laughs> <laughs> so you say thirteen. Mm-hmm. Thirteen. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, you're having a sniff around, and I mean, you don't really know what other animals inhabit this area or what um, what creatures would normally have been around. But you pick up some some sense of animals that aren't either the possats or the the deer folk, um, and uh, yeah, you you can tell there's there's been other animals around. You can't tell what they were. Um, you can also you, you get a good sniff at the the black liquid and you're like i i kind of recognize this but i mm, mm, uh, i don't know yeah it seems familiar of something you ever seen any of this before monte coil uh, can i try but- shocking the black liquid to see if that vaporizes it a bit and makes it smell a bit stronger or something yeah sure um, yeah, if you, if you specifically go for the the black liquid with your shockiness, with your electricity, and the yeah, let's have a look, another electricity <laughs> roll then. The moment. <laughs> hey, that is a sixteen. Nice. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, you zap it, um, and um, it it seems. Um, yeah, so some of the electricity just kind of flows into it, and it seems to it seems to conduct the electricity a little bit. And you're like, this doesn't seem like what's been described from the of the darkness before. Like the darkness has always been just talked about as like a a goo or like an ooze, and this is like this is a bit more watery. It's a, it's proper liquid. This and you're, you're pretty sure that the this isn't this this doesn't seem to be this darkness stuff you're not quite sure what it is but it, it seems quite benign i'm gonna look okay um, you do notice that as you've done this it's it's slightly stained your tail again so you, you your where you've been zapping it it's been like kind of um yeah staining you a little okay uh can i try and wipe that off um yeah, I. Um, what are you gonna wipe it with? Uh, don't know. Is there just like gr- some grass or something nearby? Uh, maybe, maybe Barry could spare you some butt plug leaves. Um. Yeah, that's that's what I was already getting at. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just pull them out like like uh, pull a tissue and just. <laughs> oh, that's it. Bree's gone. She's had enough. It's like no a, more. It's like a pocket Kleenex. I just, I just pull out some tissue and, and hand it over. It's fine. It's lovely, clean, lovely. The cleanest ones are in the middle, and the, the, the <laughs> outer ones clear. It's, it, They're not in there. I just, I just get the leaves <laughs> for later because you just you need to put it in for when you sleep. Where so, so do you store them? So you don't drown in your poo. Uh, I just, I just mat my. Fur. Oh, under, like under your wings or something. You know, you know, like bees normally 
like just bump into flowers and pick up the pollen. I'm doing that with trees and just picking up old leaves. And just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So it's it's good camouflage. It's like a Navy <laughs> SEALs stuff going on here. Yeah. Yeah. The ghillie yeah. suited bee there. <clears throat> yes. um, all right, so you, you try and wipe off some of this uh, this staining and you, you, you're realizing wherever you're trying to wipe it off, it's just kind of staining that as well. So you like, you, you put some on your leaves and the, the, the leaves turn all kind of dark and you put some on the, you, you try and wipe some off on uh, Nick, uh, on Barry's fur and it just kind of stains a bit of his fur. Yeah, this isn't this isn't really coming off. But, uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's just kind of staining everything around. You could have have I seen anything like this before? Stripe? How much would we know about Nick? <laughs> hey? How much would we actually know about Ink? Um, yeah, you'd, uh, you'd, you'd know Ink. Um, you've probably experienced Ink on, on past outings before. Um, and yeah, now that you're thinking about it, yeah, this, this seems like Ink. Okay, good. I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> You're gonna I, I was it. about to bite like a bottle, but <laughs> I, I you you can go go ahead and do that if you want. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I already know it's ink now, so now now I'm no longer as hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it tastes disgusting. <laughs> Have I got? Ink is ink. They used it before the computers were invented. Mm. Ink mm, yeah, is it. And the big squids make it. I think they. It used its past to develop companies or something. Yeah, when 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 lick when um, when Barry licks it, he's like, ah, oh, oh, it's salty. Ah. Salty. Mm, soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> how um, how close are we okay. to the sea? Um, you, you you're not close to the sea. Okay, no. so it's not something that's just like come over here, like flown from. Like it's not basically a giant seagull, is what I'm wondering. <laughs> is but, there like a trail of it or something? There's not. It's just kind of it, it's spread around. Um, it, there is more of it around where these mounds are, but like there's no there's no like trails going off into the forest or anything. Um, and whilst you're you're having a poke around the um, the the Starrett's, um wife. Pokes her head around the corner of the um of the barn door. Is it okay? Is it is it the darkness? No, it's ink. Uh, and she she comes out a bit further, and you can see this um this uh this, the Starrett's wife is actually um it's a uh, a sneer, which is a a, a snail deer. Um, she's got a, a beautiful big snail shell on her back. Um, and, uh, there it is, beautiful. Um, and uh, it's like, my baby's gonna be okay. Well, to be quite honest with you, the state of medicine in this area is not great, so we can't guarantee it. But on the other hand, on the other hand, I think you're safe from the ink anyway. But something was able to steal an entire pumpkin through the ground. That's not natural. It's in the ground. And she turns her head and she's like, dear, dear, it's, it's in the ground. And so the, the, the starret also comes along and pokes his head around the other door. In the ground, you say. Hmm. That seems seems like an odd place for the pumpkins to go. That's where they come from. No, oh, you're right now. I think about it. Why'd they want to go back? They've spent all this time trying to leave. Right. Well, <laughs> you oh, you figure that one out. We're gonna go back inside. You um, I'm glad glad it's not the darkness. But you you um, you find out where our pumpkins are so we can pay the beavers, please. I right, we'll we'll get right on it. All right. And they they both try. ones wants to go in the hole. <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, I could try, but, but, but it would take a while. <laughs> okay, can I uh, sort of um, use my electric sense just to see if I can get sort of a map of the hole? Or yeah, oh, this electricity is coming in very handy. Hey? Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, give it a go. Uh, 
Wait, what are you, what are you going to do? You, you poking it? Or? I'm just sort of uh, sticking my tail on the ground. I'm just going to sort of try and... Yeah, basically, um, obviously the uh, soil is going to conduct differently to just sort of an empty space with air in it. So I should be able to just sort of maybe just squat, get a general idea of what the tunnels look like. Sure, okay. Uh, let's go for an electricity roll again. Downloading the mini-map. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The fog of war is clearing. <laughs> what was that, going to be like um, the map in Metroid Prime. Just like 3D. <laughs> Just download well, in Coyle's points, head, yeah. anyway. You're going to have to try and convey this to the other two. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you roll? Uh, an 18. Bloody hell, all right. You guys are going to get completely screwed over when you get to the later part. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, um, all right. You can see, um, actually, um, as you do this... Uh, I don't even know what, what to call this. This, this, this electrical sensing of the of the tunnels you can you can sense oh yeah these are they're flooded the, the, these tunnels are full of water and there's there's loads of them each of these uh, there seems to be like a, a bunch of these mounds around and they they all connect at some point and they all seem to lead off in the same direction um and yeah they're, they're full of water i don't think i can breathe on hey. <laughs> so these tunnels they're full of water They've been, uh, they've been dug. What swims and digs? It's lots of things in this world. Considering the ink, something squiddy. So a squid mold. Or a writer. Or, you know, the beavers. Ooh. Could be the beavers. What do you reckon they're putting a the squeeze on them? Stealing the produce, and then they don't have to pay. Oh, these mafia beavers. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the squeeze on the squash. I did hear Devious. that construction was the easiest way to launder money, so it does make <laughs> sense that the beavers would be the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, we'll be damned. <laughs> when you said money, did you mean honey? That's it, yeah. Mahoney, Wonder I honey. just said it very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I set with my electrical senses? Can I tell where the um, tunnels go off to, or does it, does it not go that far? Um, you can't you can't see like where they come out. Um, they, it seems to go off too far for you to to get that sense, but you can tell like they do going in a distinctive direction. You, want, uh, you guys just want to follow that, or...? Let's go! Alright, everyone, up on the back! <laughs> um, as you're withdrawing your tail from the, um, from the hole, you... Um, let, let's have you roll for... Um, like a great perception news, kind of roll. Oh, great news, okay. great news, everybody. Be the dragons can hold their breath longer than Guybrush Street would. Oh, okay. At least ten minutes. Long then. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ten to fifteen. Okay. So is that you saying you want to go down a hole? <laughs> well, I think they might. These tunnels sound like they might be longer than it would. Like, like they would take more than fifteen minutes to get to the other side. That depends okay. how fast you swim. Technically, more than seven minutes because the other side <laughs> might be just full of water as well. <laughs> you want to be yeah. able to get back. So would this oh, unless perception... there's an exit there? <laughs> Sorry. Would this perception right. check just be a straight roll or? Um. Depends on how you justify it. I my understanding is. Uh. Yeah, let's just go for a straight roll. I think. Well, I have to do something straight once in a while. <sighs> uh, that's a ten. Have to, no. Okay. Um. Yeah, as you um, as you go to withdraw your tail, you get a little nip. You you didn't you didn't sense this coming. You didn't feel anything um, and, until you you were just about to do this. And then, yeah, you, you've gone and you've done a little zap in the water, and then a few seconds later, you've got nipped on the tail. 
Uh, can I try and shock whatever did that? Um, let's have reaction rolls from everybody. Um, if, if you if you can justify being skittish or something, then uh, I feel like if anything, probably... I should have a minus three from Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a reptile. I think reptiles are pretty reactionish. <laughs> actively <laughs> napping. <laughs> I mean, I had my I already had my tail in there, nice so that's that's yeah. Nice actually, um, Bree will say that you already your your um, previous role was it was your reaction role, um, so we'll, uh, we'll keep that one. Um, I got a six. Sorry, Nick and Andres, how did you do? Five. Five. Another natural two. <laughs> nice, Nick. I got a six. Nice. <laughs> you are you are all um, taken by complete surprise as um, out from um, that hole. And two other holes come shooting out a, a couple of creatures, um, and uh, yeah, they they each of them uh, lands on top of you. So each of you now have a um, what looks like a cross between a shark and a gopher. You've got sharfers on top of you. Hmm. Well, this will explain the water creatures. saltiness and the digging. Doesn't explain the ink, though. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, and uh, those reaction rolls we shall give. I rolled a, a 15. Um, so, uh, you are being attacked by Sharfers. And uh, they are, each one has latched onto you. So, uh, Barry's got one right on his back. Um, uh, Monty, you also have one kind of um gripping around you it's, it's trying to like bear hug you from the top and um coil uh somehow it's it's managed to avoid your tail so far um and is uh kind of hanging onto your your armadillo shell and uh yeah this uh this will be our first experience of some combat so um yeah uh these these sharper things are yeah they're, they're hanging on to you and um They've got um, like uh, yeah, they got they they've got shark shark teeth um, and um, shark gills. You can see, uh, and but the rest of their body seems to be gopher, um, and so they're just hanging on and trying to kind of nip at your at your necks or nip at your uh, at your backs um, with their teeth. So they have plus two teeth, and um, uh, we shall start with the one on. Um, Barry first. So uh, the way combat works is these are opposed rolls. So whatever I roll for the the Sharfer, um, uh, Nick, you roll to defend um, using whichever defense um, uh, things you can justify. And the difference, if I get more than you, um, the difference will be how much damage is done to you. And you start with 30 hit points. Um, and if you reach zero, uh, you don't die as such uh so you just take a nap for a bit and uh, I do that a lot. if the others manage to survive <laughs> then they can try and revive you or uh nurse you back to health okay um so i am going to roll plus two now for shark teeth i think i'm just going to use my massive bear fur to like just <laughs> like it's too much to to get through i think <laughs> they're, they're, I, so, I feel like i wouldn't be able to reach them with the flippers in the current sort of position of the flippers right now like yeah, they're right on the back. They're in that bit that you can't scratch. I mean, yeah, in a way, I kind it. of enjoy it. But it's, a, it's in between your B wings. That's a that's my first twenty of the night. Holy shit! Okay, well I rolled fifteen, so I got a seventy. Uh, but because you've rolled a twenty, uh, and that twenty, you're yeah, nat natural twenty, so twenty three. Okay, all right. Well, I, uh, this thing doesn't manage to bite into you at all. Um, and with this, you get to have an evolution. So. Um, you can, uh, because you were using your bareness, you could increase your bareness to plus four, or you could develop something completely new at plus one. Um, but that I'm would have to be relevant the... to what's just happened. I think I'm going to increase the bear because I feel like the bear hair is what's really helped there. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to have a think about exactly how that manifests. I like the hair's getting shaggier and longer, maybe. Um, I like it. Yeah, maybe a bit more tough and matted or something like that. 
So you're just a bit more of a bear now. Yeah, um, I'm just even hairier than I was before. A plus one bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So um, you, uh, what are you doing? Are you shaking it off, or I'm gonna I'm gonna use my my wings to lift up and try and turn upside down and just sort of shake it off by spinning. I do a barrel nice. roll, basically. <laughs> okay, Vinny, that's a good trick. Yeah, you just, you just roll over and like, try and squish it off and like. I yeah. could, okay. but yep. that's not what I thought of in the moment. So. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so you do this, and um, yeah, the the the, the shaft just kind of gets squished, and he's, he, he, he's yeah, just kind of thrown around a little bit, and he he goes flying off to the floor. Like, oi, 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 oh no! Uh, I need 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 my spice. Give me my spice. Um, and uh, we shall turn to, um, let's go to Coil next. Coil, you, you have this Sharper similarly hanging on to you, um, hey. also trying to nip at you. Um, and he is going to roll plus two for his Sharp Teeth. And, ooh, I've got a 19, so that's a 21. Okay. Uh, that's going to be hard to beat. Uh, could I try and justify my grill? Nurse by just sort of trying to just jump out of the way or yeah absolutely okay yeah, plus three score. Be plus three then okay that is an 18 plus three or 18 with yeah plus? with plus three that okay, is uh, right. 18 with the plus three three gotcha all right right so uh you take one hit of damage uh, so you're down to 29 um so yeah, it it gets a little way, a little bite on you. It was like the tiniest bit of blood, um, but uh, uh, you're kind of uh, hopping around and uh, thrashing around, and uh, it it can't. So it doesn't manage to stay on you. Uh, yeah, you manage to throw it loose, but it does do uh, the tiniest little nick of damage. Um, and next we'll go on to Monty, and uh, yeah, the exact same thing's happening here. He's trying to bite your neck. Um, the back of your neck. Uh, uh, so plus two shark teeth, and that's my worst roll so far. That's an eight, so ten you've got to beat. Okay, let's hope for the best. Uh, I'm gonna rely on both the reptile agility and the scales, but it's still a plus three. <laughs> and that is actually above a ten. Ooh, so I, okay. I got a total of fourteen. Nice. I, I switched Good. dice because the other one was only going sub ten. Uh, yeah, good idea. You want to you want to nip that in the bud quick. Yeah. Okay. So uh, oh, for our first round of damage, only one um, only one point of damage is done. Um, yeah. Uh, so Andres, how how is the how are you avoiding this damage? What what is it you're doing? You're just gonna uh, let it try and bite into you, and just like stealing yourself, so it can't get through your scales. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Uh, maybe even slightly slithering out of its uh, gr grasp, so it just doesn't get any anything to catch on to because the scales are just slipping by. Nice. Yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, so you you managed to slip away from it, and yeah, all three of you have managed to, to evade these these creatures, and then none of them have managed to keep a hold of you. But they're all just kind of they go up on their hind legs and they're like, eh, no, no, stay away from the pumpkins. We need the spice. We need the spice. Um, and they will start approaching you. Um, and I did not note down what your um, reaction rolls were, actually. Um, Three was I'm first, a five. And I, I was think it was. I was a ten. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, I had a six. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, so um, Bree, you're up first. Um, what is what is Coil going to do in response to these um, approaching menaces? Yay. So I'm going to um, basically uh, sort of uh, stand in a very sort of, um, I don't know, you know how if someone has their hands on their hips, but I'm going to somehow do that with four legs. And I'm just going to raise my uh, tail and um, try and uh, shock the uh, ground around me. Okay, so like a, a, a warding off kind of move. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's let's go for that then. Hey. Okay. Uh, 
and that's uh, 17. Blimey. Okay. Um, so what this will do, um, because none of them are in that area of effects at this point, what it will do is um, kind of provide, a, this would be what I call a preparation. So if any of them come near you, um, you will get a defense move um, a bonus of plus two for um, uh, zapping them when they do come into that uh, area. Um, and yeah, I, uh, you could you could do an additional thing now if you want. Okay, to... uh, can I also roll into a, an armadillo? Yeah, use my armadillo abilities to just engage the morph ball. Yeah, sure, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, um, okay, let's do a, a um, preparation roll in that case. It'll be a, a straight defense thing. If they do attack you, they'll have to get through your armor. So plus one on that one, Ra. Okay. Oh, drop my dice. Ooh, ooh, uh, that's a 15. Ah, oh, blimey. All right. Nice. Um, so yeah, that will give you another, um, that will give you a plus two to a defense if they do attack you um, on their round. Um, nice. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, so Nick, I think you were up next, right? You had oh, the six. Yes. So what I'd like to do with this bastard, pick it up in my teeth, not bite it, just picking it up, um, launch it into the air, and then flipper it, <laughs> batter up, uh, straight out like, like it's it. like it's Smash Brothers. <clears throat> okay, cool. I like it's a combo. <laughs> this one. All right, so we'll go for plus four bear and plus one well flipper. For a plus five total. Here we go. Uh, that is a 19 plus whatever five. that was. So lots. Plus five. Okay, so that's 24. Um, all right. Yeah. Um, this thing. What is it going to do? It's. Um, I think it's just going to try and use its like gopher slinkiness and, and, and try and uh, slip out of the way. But even with that. I can't actually beat it because I've only got plus three gopher and you've rolled 24. Um, <laughs> okay, so I've rolled an 11, so that's a 14 total. So, um, yeah, you do 10 damage to this uh, this gopher. Um, sorry, this, this uh, sharper. Um, uh, yeah, you do exactly what you say. You just toss it up in the air like it's a tennis ball and bat it away. Um, are you trying to bat it out of the park or where, where are you wanting this to go? Can I aim it towards the electrified ground over, oh, <laughs> over by coil? <laughs> With a roll like that, yes, you can. Um, okay. Uh, in this case, <laughs> um, uh, all right. Um, uh, Bree, let's have you electric field um, plus two. Okay. This has gone better than I expected. So you've already done 10 damage to it. Oh, uh, that's, uh, I rolled a 19, so that's going to be a 21. Fuck oh, me. <laughs> yes. Wow. Um, yeah, this thing is, um, it, 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 fl <laughs> okay, it flies up in the air, gets batted, it bounces across the field into this uh, electric puddle that you've created. Um, and uh, it just falls unconscious. It, it, it just goes, it, it, it bounces. It keeps on bouncing and it bounces out the other side of the field and uh, it's just it's it's not reacting at all to anything <laughs> Jeez. first round <clears throat> all right <laughs> um uh brie will say that your electric field um, manages to um it, it will keep uh up until the next turn um and uh yeah we'll, we'll move on um Monty, what are you doing with your assailant? Uh, as soon as I get out of its reach, I'm just going to turn around and use that reptile speed to go back in, get that neck, get the soft tissue, rip and tear. Ah, yeah, okay, right. Yeah, shark teeth. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so you get your plus three from your bearded dragon and your plus, uh, plus five total. So that's a 24 total. Fuck. Where is this going from? All right. <laughs> We're just getting 19s on the plus five rolls. <laughs> We're not even like halfway through yet, and you're already. 
Whenever I'm okay. DMing D and I don't rub a, roll above a five with the same dice. I don't understand this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so again, I can't beat this, but um, yeah, the plus three from uh, the the go for this. To see if it can like dodge out the way, and I rolled a nine. <laughs> so um, you were twenty four, yeah. So I've got a twelve. Yeah. So that does that does twelve damage. Um, are, are you keeping hold of it once you've got your teeth on its neck? Nope, brute and tear. Oh, brutal. <laughs> um, yeah, you take a good chunk out of this thing, um, and um, it is it is bleeding profusely. Uh, uh, and uh, actually, you, you you rip out its voice box, so it, it can't even shout or scream anymore. It's just <laughs> and it kind of staggers back, um, and you can see it kind of. Uh, it, it's trying to uh, get back to its hole. I believe um, what I what I tore. <laughs> Lovely. Mm. Uh, it, it, it's a little bit. It's a little bit inky tasting. It tastes a bit like the the ink. Uh, and uh, yeah, as you're kind of licking your lips, like, mm, and you look at it and see, ah, oh, yeah, that's got that's got some of this uh, this black ink on it as well. Uh, it's weird because they don't seem to have any sort of um, squidiness about them. Um, but that is um, odd that they've got this, uh, this substance on them. Um, and I think everyone's had a turn, right? Yeah, so it's now back to me. And yeah, the first thing we're going to do is see if that one can make it. So uh, uh, it rolls a 10. Um, Andres, are you going to try and chase it down or anything? Or are you just going to... Yes. That's, <laughs> that's a free meal. <laughs> Okay, um, what we'll say is, uh, because this is the, the Sharfer's turn, um, you can't do any damage on this, but you can try and trap it. Um, so, yeah, if you can roll above a 10, you'll you'll be able to, like, um, I don't know. Fight like the Kayla, hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a natural 18, so I'm going to guess Fuck. yes. All right, yeah, you um, you managed to, <laughs> to, to stamp down on it, and um, you, it can't move anymore. Uh yeah, and it also can't speak. So, um, uh, when we get back around to you, we'll decide what you're going to do with this trapped Sharfa. Um, that, that's a meal, as I mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> the um, the one remaining Sharfa that hasn't had any damage is just got a standing, and it was going to attack Bree. It was uh, it was the one that had initially taken a little nip, uh, out. Of, sorry, uh, not Bree Coil, <laughs> and um, it's uh, it's like. Ah, oh, ah, oh, fuck! What you done to my mates? Oh, oh no! I just, 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 just need my pumpkins. Just need my pumpkins. And um, he is um, gonna turn tail and uh, and try and also run down to a um, one of the holes. Uh, Bree, you're closest to it. You're still curled up. Are you gonna try and um, chase it down or anything, or is uh, is Coil just gonna hang out? Okay, I'm going to try and return the favour and um, just try and uh, bite, jump on, jump and uh, bite to latch onto its tail. Okay, again, you can't do damage on this one, but you can uh, can pin it to the ground or something. If you manage to beat my roll, which is thirteen plus three, so sixteen, you've got to beat. Okay, that's plus three for Skrill, So imagine if you had just gone for the morph ball knockout. Oh, yeah. Oh, I kind of wish I did, but what was that? Is that a nat Can't twenty? See. Is that a nat twenty? Uh, yep. Geez. Yes. Everyone else in the world has snuffed it. Oh. All right. Um. Yeah. Um, you leap and uh, land on the on the on the the one remaining undamaged sharper um, that had just taken a nick out of you, and. Um, yeah, uh, what what would you like to do? Would you like to increase your squirrel to plus four or develop something new? Uh, I suppose if it was something new, would it have to be something to do with... Yeah, it would have to be related to the roll, Jump. so... Oh, oh. Uh, oh no, we've lost a breed. Hang on, I've got a technical difficulty. Uh, are we shuffled? Yeah, we're shuffled. Yeah. yeah. It's not working, apparently. <laughs> I can see the top of my head. And, oh, I can see my beard over there. It's very interesting seeing it, uh, everything shift around. Welcome back, Bree. Yep. Uh, where else I cut off? 
Um, I was just saying, uh, yeah, it has to be related. So um, it could be could be jumping, it could be trapping, it could be I don't know, um, stickiness or something. Hey, okay. uh, could it be sort of like um, web squirrel membrane, so I can glide a bit? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You could develop um, uh, like uh, well, like a, a flying squirrel. Um, yeah. Arm webbing thing. Cool. Okay. Would that be its own separate thing, or would it just be uh, cumulative with scroll? Um, I'd say that's its own thing. Okay. So you get plus one flying scroll webbing. Nice, I like that. Although flying scrolls are one of my favorite animals, so I'm, I'm very on board. <laughs> we uh, actually have some of those here. Uh, really? Yeah. Iberian flying scroll. No. I've never seen one in real life. I wish I'd seen one in real life. I, I've never seen one either, but I. someone pointed oh, out that we live here. <laughs> That's, have to that's go very cool. Yeah, gonna have to go around Andres's just to uh, just to find some. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I think they live further inland, which might be the issue. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, okay. So, I mean, one of one of the shafers is is truly well and gone. Um, one of them is uh, bleeding profusely, uh, has no voice box, and the the final one. It's undamaged, but uh, well and truly trapped underneath um, underneath coil. And what would you what would you like to do now? We'll say that initiative is over at this point. There is no more combat. It's just a you have a um, a Sharfer captive. Hey, so I'm just going to hold the uh, cling on to the uh, Sharfer, and I just sort of threateningly charge up my tail, look it in the eye, and say, "Start talking." <laughs> just, just need the pumpkins. I just need the pumpkins. The, I, the, the, the boss needs the pumpkins. He gives us the spice, and we need the pumpkins. And I need the spice. I need the sp pumpkins. The pumpkins. We give the boss the pumpkins, and he gives us the spice, and we need. Some this is it. Um, uh, roll for like, um, smell. Yes. Um. Is that squirrel? Smelling. Yeah, you could use scroll smelling. Girls can smell stuff. Plus three. Girls have noses. Yep, they do. Uh, that's a eleven. Okay. Um, yeah, you can you can smell like there is something on him, like beyond the 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 ink that uh, also seems to have splattered him. There's like smells like 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 yeah spices. Uh, like, like someone's been been cooking something and seasoning. It's, it smells. Um, and he just keeps on going on about this this spice. I need the spice. I need the spice. Go to, we've got to have the spice. The boss will give me the spice before I bring the pumpkins. And the pumpkins are good and they're gone. And they're, mm, I need, need the spice. If I just sort of look at the uh, other two to see if they have any ideas. Uh, I will be busy eating, but. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna head over and just like. Does it taste spicy? Just like. <laughs> That's my snack. Is my snack well seasoned? Um. Yeah. Actually, you'll 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 have noticed that we. You could snack in there. Yeah. It tastes. Um. Yeah. It tastes a bit. Um. A bit seasoned. Um. Yeah. Let's. Uh. And Andres, we'll have you. Um. You have your roll for. Um. Taste. I guess. Uh. <laughs> yeah. A uh, thief have nothing to do with that, so yeah, it's... that's gonna be an eighteen. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh... <laughs> you like getting uh... sounds of wood and. Uh... <laughs> like, I really like, like this. Nice taste. It's profile. like visually a nice. It's a <laughs> nice little find where I've written down what the uh, what the tastes are. Uh... Uh, yeah, it's it's I, I assume there's a hint of squid, so it's a little calamari. <laughs> yeah, there's a little, there's a little bit of the saltiness from the from the ink, but there's some other stuff as well. Where is that? Um, I really like that you've prepared what they taste like. I'm now worried I'm yeah. going to prepare what every one of my NPCs tastes like in the future. It just in case. Uh, in fairness. <laughs> in fairness. Okay, no, I don't have an excuse. I was going to play a lizard folk in the evil campaign. <laughs> lizard folk's a good fun. Um, 
Ah, uh, here we go. Um, yeah, uh, you can taste. Uh, what did you roll? Eighteen, you said, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you roll. Uh, you, you can you can taste it. A little bit of cinnamon, uh, maybe some ginger and nutmeg, um, and uh, probably some like allspice in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. This I I have not had something this tasty in a while. This is some delicious meat. Um, and uh, Barry, you're going to come over and have a good old sniff at this thing as well, right? <laughs> going to bury your nose on this thing yeah. that uh, 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 Coyle is sitting on top of. I think Nick knows what these spices are, but Barry will have probably very <laughs> little idea. But yeah, just a real big... <sighs> All right, let's 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 roll plus four bear then. Plus four for bear. Uh, that's uh, 22 in total. I need to keep oh. this, this d20 apparently. <laughs> oh, I've just seen Cat in the chat ask what old spice tastes like. Not old spice. All spice, A L L. <laughs> don't put old spice on your food. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, and, and Nick, you you pick up all those same um, uh, things that uh, that uh, Monty is uh, describing, and you're like, no, no, wait, there, there's cloves in there as well. <laughs> can't, you can't be forgetting the cloves, Monty. It's important. <laughs> Um, what is someone doing yeah. with all of these spices and pumpkins? They're making it like like coffee or something. Um, at this point, the um, the the, the Shafa, uh is just out of his mind, trying to like scramble away, and I think he, he's just expended the last of his energy reserves, and he just he falls unconscious. He's maybe he's gone into shock or something, and he's he's gone, but. Yeah, you take a good old sniff and you're like, he, he is covered in this um, in, in these spices um, and uh, splattered a little bit with this ink. Um, and Andres, uh, you're, um, you, you, you still have a, a conscious, if somewhat badly wounded and mute um, Shafa. Um, uh, what are you wanting to do with it? I, I think I was already continuing my meal. I don't think it's alive anymore. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say that he um, either is uh, unconscious uh, in a similar state of shock or uh, being um, devoured um, beyond um, life, uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, this won't be happening in the U-rated stream at the weekend. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, okay, so you, you, have, you have two... Um, Two dead shafts, one uh, one unconscious, and um, yeah, um, a, a mysterious tale of spice um, uh, in being exchanged for pumpkins and um, spice doused uh, shafts. Talk it out with them. When we started the game, I was just assuming we were going to be a happy party, just happy to help people out and just really, really make life better for everyone. And now we have murdered and eaten someone. <laughs> In Nick, fairness, fires must take. flow. <laughs> um, at this point, um, one of the possats has dropped down um, and um, flapped out, and then and perched on one of the fences, and then just like, "Blimey, you lot are savage! What are these? I ain't seen these around." Well, it's it's obvious that you know. I'm just flapping the flippers. <laughs> things, Sh shrouds with flippers. You're just like the oh, things. I'm I'm almost like air traffic control <laughs> with, with how much I'm trying to trying to get done. That the things, you know, things. What happen? Hmm. Events. I think they're known as. <laughs> they they happen. Clearly, this is a fish, but is also not a fish. Ratfish, baby, I don't know. Do I look like an expert in this nonsense? All right, mate, those feet are clearly gopher. All oh, right. they're gone for now. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no feet there no more. Those those feet were gopher. Now they're gone. All right, well, I, uh, you said they're these fish blokes, right? Maybe, uh, maybe they came from the pond. The ponds? Whereabouts is this pond? 
Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, I said the ducks. Duck pond down the right. So, uh, I ain't seen the ducks in a while. Maybe these things scared them off. Yeah, that does sound like Cool, didn't you say you had a direction the tunnels went in? Is that the same direction as the pond? What tunnels? Oh, yeah, there's some tu Yep, there's some uh, tunnels down there. Oh! Full of water. Right. Jimmy! Jimmy! You were right! They went underground! Jimmy's that, asleep. That Jimmy. <laughs> Been too much panic in this town. <laughs> well, I reckon we it should is. go. go that was such a nineties reference. <laughs> this duck, this duck pond. See what's going on. There's no ducks there. That's not all right. Alright, so, so you um, uh, Coyle points out the direction that the tunnels. Are... Yeah, yeah, that's where the pond. Oh, I think you cut off there for a sec. He says, uh, "Yeah, that, that, that's where the that's where the, the ducks are. That way, that's where the pond is." I think we could all put two and two together and get six. Let's go. <laughs> I don't have any fingers. Should <laughs> <laughs> bats have fingers? <laughs> um. All right. Um, <laughs> that's a now might be a good time for a break if we've got one scheduled um before we head off to a different scene yeah nine o'clock's a, a good time for a break uh we usually break for about 15 minutes uh i'm aware that the break screen apparently isn't working so uh we will go to the interlude which will be the old style interlude so there'll be like clips and shit um mm. so enjoy that instead of the normal interlude button um so I'll see if this even works. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it manually. <laughs> yes. Help me in my hunt for. Hello, everyone. I think we're back. Can everyone hear me? I can't hear you. I'm I'm muted in here, aren't I? Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. There we go. We're it's back. Nick. It we're is. just talking about you. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday, yeah. by the way. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. It is happy not birthday. Happy birthday to you. To you. Okay. Happy birthday. I, I have no idea, Nick. I'm so sorry. I didn't get you a gift. No one ever does. Oh, it, that's oh, a lie. Yeah. I, I got you Crusader Kings 2. The game that was already free, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's already owned. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. And it like, streamed 200 hours of by that point, yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm just How are you feeling about all this? Oh, I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. It definitely went places I wasn't expecting. Um, I can't believe you've gone for an old man voice. That must be wrecking your... <laughs> it's surprisingly easy. You just slightly close your throat. Um, and yeah, it just it just comes naturally. I, I am having to keep hydrated though. But yeah, it's not too bad a voice to put on, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just saying to the others, I can't believe you, you just slaughtered my shafers. I'm, su I'm surprised at how well we've been rolling. Uh, especially the, the D20 I'm using at the moment is the one I usually save for when I as the DM want to lose something. Alright, wow. It oh, so it's going to go downhill after your break. Dice. It almost exclusively rolls under 10. And this time <laughs> it's been like 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Mm. Well, well, the I'm dice, sure um, it... it's on our side now. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not, it's always that's been the on problem. your side, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's luring you into a full sense of... Hmm? Just barely making those rolls. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, um, shall we get back into things then? Yeah, let's go. Um, Let's do this. Um, maybe we do a, a quick recap that um, yeah so the, the, the team has arrived at the at the, the deer hybrid farm um, discovered that the, the the fears of the mysterious darkness are unfounded fortunately in this uh, occasion and it seems that it wasn't the, the dark plaguey ooze that um, has been uh, rumoured 
uh, and it's in fact just uh, ink of some kind. Um, and during their investigations, they were um, surprise attacked by a, uh, a small gang of sharpers, um, shark gophers. And uh, uh, fortunately, they are apparently a, a very vicious uh, mystery solving gang and uh, quickly dispatched of the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the poor critters. Um, one is left um, mostly intact, um, but has uh, unfortunately passed out from shock. And the other two, um, we shall never speak of again. Uh, <laughs> a, um, a a possum bat has uh, popped down and uh, informed you that there is a um, uh, what appears to be an abandoned pond nearby where the ducks used to live. Uh, but no one's seen the ducks in a while. And um, the, the tunnels that the shafts came through seem to lead in that direction. So um, I take it you're going to head off that way. Let's go, gang. I'm gonna start getting the, the wings up. It takes a little bit. It takes a little bit of time, especially now I'm such a such a grizzly bear. It takes a little bit of time just to get off the ground, but then I'm just like. I'm just, just gonna like... climb up and then glide off ahead. Making oh the, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Make a buzzing noise, noise as well, like. Oh yeah. As I'm flying along, yeah. <laughs> A bit, a bit I'm, of a I'm, flutter I'm, as you're. Uh, I'm your going to grab on to Barry again because this is going ha- to hang on to his hair. Don't grab my stinger again. I've not even used <laughs> that in combat yet. I was expecting <laughs> to use that next, but <laughs> I think we we got through what, one round of combat. One round was all it took. Poor snarfers. Um Okay, so um, I'm not going to make you roll to to travel to the duck pond. Um, I, I'm just going to ask you how you're going to approach it. Are, are you going straight in for the shore? Are you um, uh, going to keep in the brush from a distance and observe? What are you, what are you going to do? Uh, I think I'm going to sort of uh, glide ahead and then is there sort of any like trees or anything nearby I could get a vantage point from? Yeah, there's some, there's some trees overhanging the pond. Um, as you approach, you, it's, a, it's, it's a pretty big pond. It's like hey. somewhere between pond and lake. Maybe it's a big pond or um, and in the middle of it, you can see there's a little island with a hut on it. Um, you'd presume it would be the duck house. Um, but, okay. Uh... Uh... Go ahead. Okay, in that case, can I just sort of do my scanny thing? Sure, you're up in the tree, right? Um, yeah. You're just going to want to have a look around with your eyes? Yeah, but I could use my eyes. Um... Like Scrolls have good eyes. eyes. You can have plus three eyes from scrolls, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Works for me. Or could I... Uh, I, mean, I suppose flying would be just plus one anyway, so... I think you could fly and use your eyes. Okay. Have, have a little okay, glide over the pond. Yeah just, yeah, just do a fly over. <laughs> Constantly circling. <laughs> uh, Alright, so yeah, I'll give you plus four on that then. So uh, your flying scroll webbing and your scroll eyes. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be moving in quietly while making my scales look like my surround i'm gonna oh, be okay. regretting that i don't have a license to stream uh credence clearwater revival as i come up over the tree line <laughs> 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 fortunate son <laughs> sort of playing now, and... <laughs> now this is where you can uh, make that uh, flipper stinger beaving bear combo cannonball into the <laughs> <laughs> straight down yeah I think I'm going to come in slower and after everyone's done the reconnaissance. So I'll sort of come in once they've <laughs> they've seen something, I think. I'll wait so, Bree, were you just indicating you've rolled a 17? Yeah, that's right. I can count! Yes. <laughs> uh, Next time yeah. I'll do it in binary just for hard mode. <laughs> oh, no. Um, yeah, okay, so you, you, you do a glide across the pond um, and... Uh, you're uh, you're having a keen eye out, looking for anything um, suspicious, I suppose. Um, and it's just it's eerily quiet. Uh, the pond is very still. There's no noise. There's no sign of any creatures. Um, and in fact, yeah, there's there's no noise, no anything at all. Um, and that seems very odd. Um, mm. Andres, you are um, approaching stealthily. Camouflaged, um, right up to the water's edge. Uh, you, maybe you could hide in some reeds or something if you wanted. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. 
Let's let's have you do a um, a, a stealth roll then. Uh, I think uh, reptiles can move quite quietly. Sure. I think a lot of can help, so I think yeah. plus four is strong just justified to me. Go for it. Because I, I don't think I can just my teeth into... <laughs> <laughs> no. I've got very, oh. very quiet teeth. Uh, I'm going to make that a uh, plus two camouflage, because that's a natural twin. Nice! All right. We we have a, uh, a proper Navy still going on here. Okay. I got, uh, I got an evolution as well. Now everyone's got one. Yeah. Nice. I, this game, I, I swear there's something about this game where people just get a lot of nat 20s. And... and I, I always see a lot more nat 20s than a, nat, a lot of nat 1s. Um, and in fact, there's not been any nat 1s at all. Really? And actually, oh. you've all been rolling ridiculously well. So, yeah. I, this rolled, is the two, I rolled two natural 2s in a row in fitness <laughs> at the <laughs> beginning of true. the game. <laughs> when, it, when it didn't matter. Outrageous. Um, okay. Um, so, yeah, you, you, you very stealthily... Um, uh, approach and uh, without even like causing a splash or like rustling the reeds you just slink into the into the, the pond and you're just kind of sitting amongst the reeds. If I can reeds. hold my breath I am going to submerge. Yeah um, go for it okay uh, yeah so you, you pop under the water and um, similarly to what um, Coil saw from above there's just there's nothing in here there's not there's no fish there's no like normal animals that you'd see in a pond, uh, and yeah, it just seems very um, eerily quiet. Um, uh, so Nick, you you kind of fly like the giant bumblebee you are over the tree line, uh, <laughs> coming in and trying to. I, I guess I'm gonna. How do you clean like that? You're free to drop in. <laughs> <laughs> It's easier than landing. Um, okay, so uh, you let us have you roll for flying. Okay, uh, so I'm going to have one be... set of eyelids closed, so you know I I can still see. But <laughs> wait, do you have multiple eyelids? Is that a thing? Don't don't most yep. uh, nictating membranes. I think they're called. Wow. See, the game is teaching me things again, which That's I will almost instantly six. forget. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So finally, we get a, a well placed bad roll. Um, uh, so, uh, um, is Coil is Coil returning to the the trees after doing a, a quick glide? Oh no! Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I think so. Into coil. <laughs> um, engaging morph ball. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I, I wasn't going to go down this route. Now you see. Um, yeah. So Barry comes just flying over the, the, the top of the trees and uh, has definitely uh, 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 outpaced his flapping um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is coming in uncontrollably towards the um, uh, towards the middle of the pond. Um, Probably aiming close to where the uh, the island is. Um, meanwhile, Coil is on the return glide um, after doing their first um, uh, reconnaissance. And um, uh, yeah, we're going to have Coil roll to avoid a falling barry. Okay. <laughs> yep, so I guess I'll try and do this by just ro literally just rolling into a, my armadillo ball and uh, hoping for the best. Okay. So they're both cannonballing into the pond, is what I assume. <laughs> cannonball. Well, I'm literally doing. I'm literally cannonballing in. Plus one for this. Ah, oh, that's a seventeen. <laughs> Damn it, man! All right. Um. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. Coil manages to deftly at the last second uh, tuck into a ball and um, avoid the the falling Barry um, and just plops right into the water. Um, uh, I think they, they managed to get such a tight, um, uh, what's the word, uh, wrap yep. on themselves that they um, managed to like pull in, um, almost make themselves like a, a balloon of air. So they, they plop down and uh, rise back up to the top of the water and um, uh, are able to 
um, <clears throat> kind of uh, crawl onto the beach of the uh, of the the Duck House Island. Uh, Nick, meanwhile, Barry, you um, you just uh, yeah, you're falling out of the sky, um, and um, yeah, you uh, <laughs> you um, you you manage to fall like maybe maybe a few meters off from the island but you're like on the other side from where the the beach is <laughs> so uh, maybe it's like a, a bit more of a rocky um uh, side of the of that shore um and let's say you're like halfway between um where uh monty is right now and where the the duck house island is so you're kind of just floundering in in the water at the moment um, i got the perfect slow-mo shot of the landing <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, Monty is just watching this all happen. It, it must be a, a wonderful, wonderful uh, sight. <laughs> uh, there's been a lot of noise. There's, uh, if uh, if anyone was trying to be um, quiet doing this, they have uh, not succeeded. Um, but uh, I guess um, on undress. Um, sorry, Monty is uh, is still completely hidden. Um, what would you like to do as you've seen this all happening? I'm going to wait to see if anything reacts, and then I'll consider if I react. Okay, cool. Um, let's have uh, let's have Barry see if um, he can rescue himself. The the middle of the pond. There. Um, sure. How many uh, bears can swim? I mean, I've got whale flippers. I'm pretty sure I can swim. <laughs> <laughs> I I I am looking forward to your role to try. Uh yeah. Uh. I'm... That's a plus five then, isn't it? Yeah, can I use my, my bear's ability to swim with my whale flippers? Um, sure. Yeah. If plus you roll one. a plus one, if you roll a nat one, it's bad. That's an eight. Oh, okay. Eight total. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. The dice have betrayed me now. <laughs> so, um, as soon as the what I was just saying about the, the nat one, like, if you roll a nat one, the number of uh, the, the the higher the modifier when you roll a nat one, the worse the outcome. So if you roll, if you've got a plus five and you roll a nat one, that's really bad. If you're just rolling a, a plus one, then it's not such a big deal. But uh, yeah, luckily you uh, you rolled a three, so yeah, not quite. But uh, and that one has to happen. I can't believe we've not had any this stream so far. Um, if anyone's gonna do it, I'm gonna do it at this rate. <laughs> in fact, last time last time I play tested this um, this scenario. Um, I was the only person that rolled in that one, and it. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's let's have one of you roll in that one. Come on, please. Uh, <laughs> um, you okay, so out there, I think after you said that you were the last one to roll in that one, the only one. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. I, I, the players in this game, they just seem to be very lucky. Um, anyway, so Barry is is flapping around. He's not drowning. It, it, it's uh, it's not that bad, but he is not making any progress towards the pond. It's just kind of flapping, um, it's maybe in a bit of bit of a bit of a, a bit of a flap. I'm having um, a panic. I'm going. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. <laughs> just like that in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm so large. I've probably got my feet on the ground at the same time. I'm just going. Someone save me. <laughs> um. Andres, uh, do, do you want Monty to do anything at this point? I'm still watching to see if anything else reacts. <laughs> nothing is reacting yet. There's nothing nothing happening. It's still very still. As far as you can tell, like the only noise or movement seems to be coming from the massive bear flapping around in the middle of the pond. Um, it's stirring out quite a lot of silt and stuff off the bottom, so it's making visibility a bit harder under there. But um, yeah, you can't see or sense anything moving. Can I okay. use my electric in, in sense just to sort of ping? Try and... Sorry. Sorry. Uh, can I use my electric sense just sort of ping to see if anything's started moving now? Um, yeah, sure. Um, are you, are you ping. The, the island where what specifically are you going for here? Uh, a, I guess the island since there was nothing in the water before so okay um, yeah uh, roll uh, plus a that's a 10 um, 
Yeah, um, you're not you're not picking anything up. Uh, you can the you're sensing something funny about the dark house, um, but you're not sensing any movement or anything. Uh, in that case, can I? Uh, I'm just going to move and help Barry. Uh, just sort of um, uh, not give him a like a dope slap, but just like a little um, friendly shock to make him snap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> an, an encouraging little zap. <laughs> um, okay, we'll have you roll for electricity. Um, and this will be basically how controlled you are with this. If you roll low on this, you're going to damage him. Oh, no. Well, maybe this will be your one. <laughs> uh, that's a uh, six. <laughs> um okay so uh this is going to incur i um the the mechanic in the book is uh, friendly fire um so basically uh yeah nick you um have to roll the better than the inverse of what um has been rolled so um that would be 20 minus was it a six brie uh yes six yeah so 20 minus 6 is 14. So, okay. Nick, if you roll under a 14, you will get some damage from this. Do I get to use my bear abilities for this, or is it a straight roll? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Like, uh, your fur might be insulating, I guess. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. All right, I'm using a third d20 now, as I've given up on the other two. <laughs> I misheard that there's third. As in, That's a like... 10, plus 4, 14! Oh, he's just done it. Oh, <laughs> and the skin of your teeth. Um, yeah, okay. So you, you definitely feel um, a, a significant shock from uh, from Coil, uh, but uh, but fortunately your your fur just uh, does a good enough job that it, it stops the uh, the shock coming through. And I guess also you're flapping around, so... The water's going everywhere. The the, the, the the zappiness can't quite get through to your uh, your core. Um, so uh, yeah, you're you're safe in that front. And let let's say it gives you um, a little bit of uh, a calming effect as you realise, oh yeah, <laughs> I, I I I'm not drowning. I'm I'm, I'm okay. Oh Blimenek, that was too close. That was too close. Ta love ta very much. Um, you're still in the middle of the water, uh, Andres. You been still watching uh, things have calmed down a little bit still nothing seems to be reacting I, I was going to try and uh, and push uh, the big big boy and fair but uh, you can but, you can still uh, do that I mean he's still just floating in the middle of the pond at the moment so you can yeah. um, you can swim up and uh, give him a push I'm, I'm gonna poke my head out and ask like shall we check out the hut Excuse me. Shall we check out the hut? Uh, what hut? I, I, I'm sorry, I've been a bit distracted. Oh, big soggy bear. <laughs> I'm looking forward to you getting out on the shore and going... <laughs> yeah, just... I'd take that as a yes. It's going to look like and a I shampoo just... advert. <laughs> and I, I just, like, go in there, like... And uh, start, like, gently pushing the bear towards the island. Okay, let's have you roll... Um... Uh, I guess uh, bearded dragon swimmingness is that a thing? I suppose so. That's a five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're not too bad. And you're pushing with just I'm like just going like boink, <laughs> boink. <laughs> <laughs> boink. <laughs> Meanwhile, Barry's getting. Oh, you cut out again. I think for a second there. Ah, uh, Barry's just getting a bit of a nice little pokey mass on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, once again, hitting a bit, hitting There's a spot a that he can't reach. I can't, yeah, with the flippers, I can't quite reach, and thank you. Oh, oh my. Oh, you should have got on the shaffer to give you a little scratch when he was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm making no progress. I am going to go and just claw the back a little. <laughs> 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 okay, um, Barry, you've got in your composure back a little bit. Let's see if you can uh, make it to the shore. All it's right. not that far at this point. Bear and well flippers, plus five, surely. Surely. That's a 13. 
it will do. You you invent. And um, Monty is. Uh, uh, it's not it's not clear whether he's helping or hindering, but he's there with. <laughs> um, and uh, at, yeah, at some point, they just fall off if the when the water pours <laughs> off of him. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Coyle was just kind of standing there sheepishly, being like, oh, I don't know where that zapping came from. <laughs> yep, I'm just shocked. Shocked. <laughs> well, I will shake off now I've gotten to the shore. <laughs> just a proper. <laughs> it takes a while because he is so much bare. Mm. Plus four. Um, okay, bear. so. <laughs> You're all all on the uh, on the central island now, and uh, yeah, there's there's uh, a funny little uh, duck house in the middle. Um, no sign of any ducks, no sign of any movement or or life of any kind. Does it have a window or something? It's got an open door, um, and um, I mean, do you want to go and have a look around? You, um, give it a give it a go give it a go circle it or something. Yeah, can Maybe I just sort of climb up around it and just. Me. Yeah, just look through the windows. Sure, yeah, you can go for a climb. Uh, Andres, what? I, I, I made a bad joke about them leaving a the letter because surely they think. <laughs> uh, um, right, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, Bree, you can roll for um, uh, going to have a little climb, I guess. Um, okay, can I have that as a plus four for scroll and a flying scroll? Yeah, sure. You can you can have a little glide over. Okay, I dropped my die again. Oh, outrageous! Uh, but that is a dirty twenty. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, um, yeah. You you hop up onto the um, onto the, the structure. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, you're gonna have a, a poke your head through the windows, have a look in. Yeah. Um, so it looks like. Um, it doesn't look like anyone's been living here um, for a little while, at least. Uh, but there, there appears to be like a stove and lots of like utensils. Uh, you can see some little pots with um, what looks like spices and seasoning and stuff in there. Uh, and uh, yeah, with a twenty, you can also tell uh, there's um, yeah, there's bits of pumpkin around. Someone's clearly been cooking in here. Okay, so I, uh, can I just, uh, climb in and, uh, take a closer look? Sure. Uh, whilst you're doing that, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with Barry and, uh, Monty. What are you two up to after Barry's shaken off? I'm having a sniff on the ground around the place. Seeing if I can find any, like, any of the smells I smell in the, uh, in the pumpkin patch uh, and particularly look on the lookout for any of that weird black liquid that was weirdly salty and stained my tongue yeah sure um, okay roll plus bear alright uh, <laughs> that's a six that's a natural two. <laughs> oh, so close we're getting closer <laughs> we are um, yeah you, uh, you you keep on um, you, you start sniffing and you're like, I think I've, I think I've picked something up, and you, you, you follow that scent, and you're going round, and after, a, after like a minute, you, you come back to where you started from. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh no! Picked I picked up my own that. scent again. <laughs> it happens so much. <sighs> uh, maybe you've actually, you've gotten some of that spice and, uh, and uh, ink on yourself, and you're just like. Oh yeah, no, no. There's, it's definitely here, but it's it's here. You saw nothing, Mon Monty. Don't don't tell the squirrel. Uh, Monty's <laughs> on his back after falling off of the bear. You, you saw and nothing. was just just was long for the just, ride. Like was really enjoying the pressurized shower he got from the bear. Trying <laughs> 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 shaking off the water, and it's just like. Yeah, no, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> you're just leaving Coil to do all the hard work. Yeah. Um, okay, Coil, you're in. You're in the hut, um, and yeah, I, it, it's it's clearly a like been turned into a kitchen, 
um, the what were maybe one once upon a time the uh, the duck beds have been pushed to the sides and like uh, in center space there's a um there, there's definitely a stove and some cooking utensils and bits of pumpkin um it definitely looks like someone's been trying to cook something up in here okay so presumably i can already tell that the spice is definitely the same spice we saw before yes Yes, these are definitely those same spices. I consider it might be quite nice in coffee. Uh, is a uh, like a uh, particularly uh, sort of trail or anything? Or um, you rolled a dirty twenty, didn't you? Um, you. You can tell someone has probably been here recently, like this. Um, and there's there's a slight trail of pumpkin that seems to be like leading up to the window, um, go leading outside. Um, and the windows, it, it's not, it's just a hole in the wall. It's there's no like proper door. There's no like actual glass windows or anything. It's just a hole in the wall. Who would leave through the window when there was a door? Um, oh, there's yeah. also you 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 actually yeah with that uh, with that the A twenty you you can see there's there's traces of ink in this place as well and there is, seems to be some fresh ink going over that uh, that window space. Hey, so I uh, walk out of the uh, front door of the house and I shout to the other two. Uh, I think the do you think it might be a bird here because. Someone's been using just using the window and not the door. Sounds possible. It is that house. Can ducks fly? I forget. <laughs> just silence from everyone about <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bird that can fly. Ducks that can't is perfectly possible. I, uh, is there any uh, ink on the outside of the house? Um, are you going to go around uh, to the, the side where that window was? Yeah. Um, yeah, when uh, you, you, you go around and you have a look and you can see there is, uh, there is a distinct trail that comes over that window ledge uh, down the side of the house and um, uh, looks like it's going down towards the... Um, like a, like a, a a small cliff edge that goes down into the water. Okay, can I uh, sort of uh, do my electro sense on the cliff edge just to see if there's anything down there? It's damn electro sense, man. All right, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Plus two. Yeah, it hasn't I've, failed you yet. Um, I've gamed the system. I can do anything with electricity. All fun <laughs> games until she gets a natural one on it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you did nearly zap Nick, so... <laughs> you said the negative? But only nearly. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's an 11. Um, you, you, you're, not, you're not picking up anything, really. Um, you... You can tell that there's there's been movement recently. Um, you can you can feel there's been like a disturbance in the electric field or something. But you, you, the force. yeah, the, the the force has been <laughs> as tickled. if thousands of pumpkin seeds were. S- but yeah, you can't pick up anything. Um, <clears throat> you can't pick up anything particularly specific. I'm gonna okay. come up to the cliff and go. You think there's something down there? Hmm. Well, Monty, are you coming? And I'm going to leap off the cliff. Is Monty still on your back? No, Monty's on his back over by the uh, over by the, the duck house. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I was having a rest. <laughs> uh, I thought when you were saying Monty was on his back, I thought... No, 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 back. Monty was on his back because... Uh, I see. Uh, the, after after getting out of the water, the water just uh, carried the uh, motor off. 
uh, yeah, I, I'll, 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 I'll go after. Okay. Um, all right. Um, uh, so, I just roll, uh, can I roll myself into a diving bell and uh, try and follow? Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> like so you got Barry fly first. down, but <laughs> we're both, <laughs> both the for. flying characters. Oh, wait. Just going, uh, like, it's wait. Um, like, it's not a particularly high cliff, so it's going to be a quick dive. Um, okay. And I know this is going to be a stretch. Can I use my electric shocks? Um, because nuclear submarines, basically, they can use electricity to split water via electrolysis to create extra oxygen. So can I do that? <laughs> You can, you can absolutely try. Um, I I look forward to this going horribly wrong. Um, but first, Barry, we are going to go dive. Um, oh yes, swan dive. <laughs> I, I think what, flippers um, out. Flippers? Yeah, um, flippers, yeah, I, I think. think. Yeah, plus one? Plus one, I think, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a ten. Okay. Um, and next, um, I think Andre, uh, 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 Andre, sorry. Um, so you, uh, you're following after diving using, uh, be the dragon, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna blop off. <laughs> okay. Go, go for a hit though. Sure. Plus three. That's a six. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is the start of the good stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bree, your turn. Okay, so my uh, armadillo diving bell with an integrated um, oxygen generator rolled a seven. Ooh, oh, we're all going to drown. I love this. <laughs> um, I, can, I can hold my breath for ten minutes. <laughs> I feel like I have a strip with whenever I say that. Um, oh, my so yes, you, you, you all hit the hit the um, hit the uh, surface of the water, and none of you go particularly deep. Like uh, you, you all kind of bob a, a little bit under and then come straight back up. Um, so you're all just kind of floating on the surface at this point. I'm gonna let out a little whale song as I hit the water, and that whale song is. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a belly flop that. <laughs> Can I uh, let out another electro sonar now that I'm actually in the water? Yes, please. And you're right next to the other two. So. Well, I'm just sensing the electrical um, impulses. I'm not actually shocking. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like the system. I'm getting away with all sorts of nonsense with just one ability. <laughs> I don't oh, I mean, uh, that's, that is a good ability. <laughs> that's uh, d another dirty 20. I rolled an 18. All right. Um... There's, 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 there's an energy signature, I guess, is what you're picking up, um, uh, down below the water. Um, not, not too deep, maybe like, maybe five or ten meters down. Um, it's not the deepest of ponds, but like at the, at the, at the bottom of this pond, there is, there is a, a, a sign of life. It's not moving, it's not doing anything, but you're picking something up. I've got a ping. <laughs> yeah. Someone insert a, a submarine uh, soda. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. Let's get going. Hold on to the fur, and I'll try and dive down as far as I can. Okay, I just try and uh, presumably latch one of my uh, the joints of my armor onto Barry. <laughs> Clip on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Monty, what, what's Monty gonna do? I'm gonna hold my breath and I, I I'll just uh, follow along. Okay. Um, I think what we'll do here is we'll wait this in the. Uh, Nick, you're gonna Barry's gonna help. Coil and uh, Monty down to uh, under the water. Uh, so um, when you roll, if you roll a nat one, it gives everyone a minus one on their uh, their diving roll. If you roll um, two to nine, yeah, uh, then it has no effect. It's just a, a failed assist. Um, if it's uh, ten to 
14. I'm getting numbers. Uh, 10 to 14 is a plus 1 that you would give to everyone on their rolls. 15 to 19, a plus 2. And 20 or more gives a plus 3. Okay. Um, I'll use those well flippers for plus, for plus 1. Um, and you can also use your bear fur because they're, they're holding to your... Okay, I'll do that. that. I just plus rolled five, a 15, totally. so that's now a 20. Nice. Okay, so everyone gets a plus three for their dying. Um And, yeah, Nick, you you will uh, easily be able to get down to the, the the water. We'll see how the other two manage to do with that uh, boost. Okay. I mean, I, I still get my field dragon as well, right? Yep. Yeah. So, and do I, st do I still get my plus six for my improvised bath sphere? <laughs> yeah, sure, right. why not? <laughs> so this is, yeah, I mean, it's a total of plus six with that. Uh, Plus three. Don't get a one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble if I get a one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, thirteen. <laughs> Is that thirteen total? Yeah, thirteen total. Okay. And uh, Andres, what did you get? Uh, Ten total. Okay. Um. Yeah, the two of you, man, you, you struggle a little bit, but you do get pulled down. Uh, maybe you. you... Maybe like halfway down, you're you're like, mm, no, this is getting a bit too deep. The pressure's a little bit too much. I'm I'm just gonna just gonna hang out at, at this level for the moment and and just um, watch uh, watch Barry and see what happens down there when he gets to the bottom. Uh, and sure enough, Barry uh, makes it right down to the bottom. And um, once you reach there, you're like, holy shit, it's it's all the pumpkins. There's like there must be like twenty pumpkins down here, massive stash of pumpkins. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up and go. Don't smash the bumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> just flip, flap a flipper. Yeah, just like try and gesture at them because I've just realised I can't. Doing talk diving circles, but just flippers. Yeah, from inside her bathosphere, Quill's just like, pay dirt. <laughs> you found it. Well, I'm gonna so, go down and I'm gonna I'm gonna nuzzle some pumpkins and see if I can like bring one back up to to their their level so they can see it at least. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Let's have you roll bear to grab a pumpkin. Yes. I, I want to make a bad joke because everyone else has an underwater com communication system already. Uh, Montes is uh, blinking with uh, with the top player of. <laughs> Of the, of the eyelids. So because <laughs> one is on the water, it's gonna have one layer closed anyway. So <laughs> yeah, that works. To be fair, I do not have a communication method. I'm just going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh yeah, I can I can do semaphore <laughs> with the flippers. <laughs> the big call can actually uh, say anything. I got an eleven. Um, all right. Uh, you go to grab a pumpkin, um, and as you do, um, a a tentacle reaches out and just slaps you, and um, you um, you feel a kind of uh, not a buzz, like it's like a slight numbing on your arm that you've reached out. I won't say um, it out loud, but I'll be thinking it. That bleeding coil again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, you are going to get a temporary effect. Um, and this will be uh, minus one uh, numb uh, numb limb. Um, and so anytime you try and do something uh, bare uh, limbs, uh, you'll have a minus one to that roll. Okay. And um, you, um, this will last for at least one turn, so at least your next roll. Um, and after that, each time you try and do a roll with that, uh, you have to roll um, just a, a straight dice. And uh, if you roll under a 10, then the effect continues. If you roll over a 10, the effect dissipates. Um, so, yeah, you've been you've been like whipped and uh, gotten this numbing effect on your on your uh, arm, and it's kind of uh, made you. Uh, I was, I, I want to say leap back, but you couldn't leap back in the water. You just kind of, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, retract a little bit. And um, yeah, as you do, you see one of the what you thought was a pumpkin. Um, some eyes just kind of blink open, 
and you see a face and it's like grimaces at you um and you you actually you can hear uh, this this voice under the water be like get out of my pond <laughs> <laughs> um, and you see um you see seven more tentacles come around and kind of like clamber on top of the uh the the pumpkins down there it's like these are mine okay that sounds pretty scary um i feel like i i feel like <laughs> I'd probably do a, a like a practiced flipper gesture, you know, you know, like like the Navy SEALs do with their their hands to like get people to come up behind them and all that. I'm gonna gesture that there's some sort of danger, and then what I'd like to do is float up a little bit, uh, orient myself so I'm ass towards whatever this thing is. Oh, no. Use the whale flippers to essentially plunge myself down suddenly in a plunging movement with the stinger <laughs> straight towards it. <laughs> you have withdrawn okay. the bare butt block. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I need to have a bottle of water to be honest. This is what I signed up for. Okay, I knew you these people before me. I had to use the bee stinger eventually. <laughs> yes. Actually, yes, it had to happen. Okay, Nick, let's uh, let's roll for wealth. Whale flipper and bee wing, uh, bee sting, even. Yeah, that's a fifteen. And uh, mind you, that's a with a minus. No, that doesn't use pair, so no minus one there. Yeah, you're right there. Um, okay. Yeah, you um you plunge down uh and uh. Yeah, you, you, your stinger goes like right in the middle of all of these parts, uh, and you, you're like, ah, I think I got him. I think I got him. Uh, and, and then you, you, you pull up, and you're like, ah, oh, no, I've got a pumpkin on my ass. <laughs> uh, this is stuck. Uh, <laughs> I can't get it off. <laughs> meanwhile, the entire I mean, area. Mission... Just... Sorry, go on, Bri. Mission successful. You've got a pumpkin. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's <laughs> go. Pumpkin. Of, of the like twenty odd pumpkins out there, you've got a pumpkin. Uh, but yeah, meanwhile, the entire area fills with this um, black um, uh, mist, I suppose, um, and uh, it suddenly becomes almost impossible to see. Um, and you also hear that same voice that told you to get out um, say, uh, "Shoffers, shoffers, where are you?" Come on, get him! And everybody roll for... Um, let's roll for reactions. Okay. Can I use my electro sense to roll for a reaction? Yeah, sure. I'm going to use my whale flippers only, I think. Let's just, just try to move as a as a reaction. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to have to be a dragon for the rest. I also rolled a 10. This time I rolled a natural three instead of natural two for reaction, so that's better. Yeah, so that's yeah, a, that's a you're six. Improving. <laughs> yeah. So you got ten. Ten. And six. And I rolled an eleven. So again, it is me first. And. Right. Um, so, out from nowhere, um, a couple more shafters appear, <clears throat> and you hear them come like squealing in, uh, indecipherable to you under the. These these things are like screeching. Um, they they've got a, a proper crazed look in their eyes, um, and. Um, they are um, going to try and um, kind of sweep uh, Barry away from the pumpkin pile. Um, and uh, yeah, they're both going to work together on this. So it's, uh, it's like a dual role for them. Um, oof. Okay, Nick, you've got to beat a 10 
to um, avoid getting swept away by these uh, two things. I'm going to use the flippers uh, for this, I think. <laughs> That's a natural You can two. use flare as well. And natural it two. not matter. <laughs> So that's a free um, total. Yep. Okay. So um, you try and you try and um, flap away um, from the um, from the the cloud of uh, black ink, um, and uh, as you do, you get one shaft or come up on each side of you, grab you by your fins, um, and and uh, just start carrying you uh, up towards the surface, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, you can't see what the um, what the other creature is up to um, because it's too dark down there, and you're not amongst that um, part of the uh, pool anymore. Um, okay, um, and Nick, um, uh, we'll go around next. Okay, as you are amongst the action. So. Uh, I will. I will just try and like wriggle them off. Like, just thrashing about in the water to try and just shake them off of me. I think I will use my bare might and my and my flippers for this. So, plus five. And this is probably the time I'll roll a natural one, knowing me. Okay. Um, so, you'll have a uh, minus one to this. Yep. This. So, plus four in total. Uh, that's a, oh, that's a 12 plus four, 16. Nice. Okay. Right. Let's see if they can hang on to your, uh, your flippers. Oh, they also rolled a 16. So, yeah, they um <laughs> Oh, actually, I'll roll for the other one. Um, no, nope, one of them rolled on that one. <laughs> okay, so one of them manages to hold on to you. The other one, um, let's say this is Shafa 2. Um, they. Uh, so, NPCs also incur nat ones. And when you get a nat one, uh, it's uh, basically. Um, yeah, it, it's a related penalty to the roll. So. Um, this thing was trying to hold on to you. Um, uh, the related penalty, I guess, could be, um, let's say um, when you've been flapping to, to try to shake it off, you smacked in the head and given him uh, a light concussion. So it will have like a minus one to um, uh, like, uh, what's the word I want to look for? Uh, minus one to, um, Thinking? Dis dis disorientation. Let's call it that. It's disoriented. That sounds good. I'll Mind take that. Um, and uh, yeah, you've, you've given it a good bat on the head. And um, and actually, you rolled... What did you roll? 16, did you say? Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this thing is um, just um, a bit out of it now. And it just uh, kind of swims to the surface and just seems to be kind of going off in a random direction. <laughs> um, the other one is still holding on to your um, your other flipper though, and um, mm. is uh, is grappling with you. And we shall turn to Bree uh, Coil. Uh, has just seen um, her her bear friend get swept away by a, a couple of a couple more shafers. Um, didn't really see what had happened down at the bottom, but you you can see that there is um, you know there was pumpkins down there, and Barry signaled that. Um, knew there was some sort of danger down there, but the whole area is now filled with black cloud. Hey, I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and use my uh, sort of scroll agility and flying scroll because it's a flap, so I could guess I could sort of use it to maybe swim I and do, yeah. my and my electric heal ability. And what I'm going to do? Uh, I think we've lost a brie again. Oh no. We'll all get smashed ah, together. For a terrible second. timing. We've rolled a nat 20 and formed one player. Oh. Uh, she's back. Okay, sorry about that. Come on, turn on. No. Okay, where was I? Right. Uh, you were just about to tell us what you were going to do with your uh, your electric illness and screwiness. Okay, I'm going to try and swim all the way down to end of the clouds. And I'm going to uh, using my uh, scroll agility and um, I mean, bit of eel means a bit of swimming ability, I guess. And I'm going to try and create an electric shock that vaporizes some of the water to create a massive bubble. Oh, okay. Oh, I like it. Inventive. Right. Uh, so that's what uh, plus six. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's one. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> These no Andres. 
Why do you do this to me? I knocked on wood, it's good. It would be perfect timing. Uh, this is actually more natural wood. Well, it's natural. No, you've not got another nat 20. Yes! Oh my yes. god. <laughs> Unstop. I thought you had to roll a one. <laughs> All right, Thank you so for your help, Andres. <laughs> let me guess what you're going to do with your evolution. Then. In the electricity, is it? Yeah, I'd say the electricity. Um, it's like a Tesla plus coil. Three electric. <laughs> <laughs> plus three electric squirrel. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, you, exactly as you describe. You, you, you swim underneath, you get underneath where this cloud of um, darkness is. <laughs> and um, you, you do your buzz, and uh, it makes a, a whole like field of bubbles appear and just lifts all of this. Um, this um uh, the, the shroud away um and uh yeah you now have a clear view of um the the pumpkins in the middle or most of the pumpkins because it seems that half of them that were there when uh nick uh when barry had uh, had um, popped down have disappeared there's a there's at least eight have gone uh, there's like a decent number that. left but there's uh, yeah there's a significant amount have gone I'd like to think um, Coil was just sort of, you know, the um, flaming El uh, Elmo GIF. She was just, uh, she was just like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love it. Um, okay, Monty, we'll switch to you now. Um, the, the you've just seen all of the the ink cloud um, rise up and go past you. Um, and momentarily, you were completely clouded, but now you can see quite clearly into the water. Uh, you can see um, Barry has been swept away um, and is tussling with um, a, a Sharfer and um, Coil is down at the bottom amongst uh, a good portion of the pumpkins but there's a uh, missing um, what would you like to do? Mm, is there anything other else down there? Or is the octopus gone? You'd have to roll to find out if you Um, I guess it would be like a vision or perception of some kind. Is it my full action or is it just an information gathering? This is information gathering, so yeah. Okay. So yeah, I lose my be the dragon eyes. That's 11. Okay. Um, um, you... There is a there's a there's a trail of um, of ink, um, kind of very lightly. Um, uh, you, can, you can pick it up in the water, uh, going leading away from the uh, the pumpkin pile. Uh, you can't see where it is uh, where it's going to, but you can see there is there's definitely a trail. The, I mean, you could follow it. You just can't see where. It is. Okay, I I will try to follow it. Then. Okay, um, let's let's have a swimming roll from you then. Yeah, uh, that's a thirteen. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, you. You kind of yeah. The the trail leads like halfway across the um uh, uh, the pond, and you you um, uh, yeah, yeah it, it, it's going all the way across the pond, and you can you get to about halfway along that line, and you can see just uh, at the edge like maybe it's amongst those reeds you were in earlier you can see some tentacles kind of slivering into the reeds um, i assume that's my full turn by now yeah i'd, I'd say that is yeah. and um we shall turn back to um barry and the sharper um so uh sharper sharper one the other, the other sharper is buggered off um uh but uh sharper one is uh, attached to uh, Barry's fin um, and uh, is uh, is going to try and take a chunk out of it. So it has rolled an eight, so plus two shark teeth, and um, yeah, yeah, you got to beat a ten to avoid being bitten. Okay, I'm going to use my shaggy bear fur, I think. So that's going to be plus three at the moment because I'm slightly numb. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a 15 plus 3 is an 18 though. 
Nice. Okay, you uh, you managed to shake it off. God, the combat is not working out for me. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, my question: <clears throat> When does the anti numbness roll take place? So it will be Nick's turn next. Um, uh, after the after the other creature that has buggered off. Uh, but yeah, uh, when it is his turn, he'll get to do the roll to see if he can um, shake off the numbness. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, so you shake off the um. You you just do. Uh, this thing's trying to bite onto you, but you managed to like get it off of you. Um, you don't do any damage to it until it's your turn. Mm. Um, but uh, on defense roll, you manage to succeed. Um, okay. And I shall just do a um a. a Actually, Andres, you might see this. So uh, let's see how we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the um, the the other creature that you were following, Andre, uh, sorry, uh, Monty, was um, as uh, it looks like he's got a little bit tangled in the reed. Um, <laughs> it, as you as you get a little bit closer, you can see it is trying to carry eight pumpkins um, at the same time as swimming away. Um, and in doing so, it's just gotten a bit kind of stuffed in the in the, amongst the reeds. Um, but it is uh, it is trying to get away clearly. Um, and... I just realized that Monty is like absolutely a murder hobo if it weren't for the fact that you know there was a live we had a living house. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and now it will go around to Nick. Um, okay. Nick, uh, the first thing you'll do is roll your straight die. See if you shake off the numbness. Okay. That is a 17. Nice. Okay. You are no longer numb. Woo! Uh, uh, do I also time. get to act as well? Yes. Okay. So, right. I need to set this up. So we're heading towards the surface because the, the Sharpers were bringing me towards the surface. Right. Well, yeah. I'm going to take take the Sharper by surprise. I'm going to try and grab it and accelerate towards the surface. Now, there's a wonderful video Um of I think it's a seal or something and it's in the water um, and it, it jumps into the air just as a whale turns over and just catapults it oh no oh no <laughs> so I'm gonna go straight up out of the water right into the air yes. midway through the air use the wings to spin around with the flipper to just go boom and knock it I, I love this as image far away so as much. possible and then i think i'll try and remain in the air and then you know later on while in the air i'll see if i can then spot where everyone else is because i'll be pretty turned around and, and disoriented yeah. by that point although I and if you roll well enough you might get a really good as you're doing your spin okay yeah. let's roll uh, so b wings and whale flipper i'm um, yeah uh b wings whale flippers can i use bear strength as well on this Okay, yeah, Mouth. sure, why not? Plus six. Okay, this, this is the time, isn't it? Oh, no. It is Must a natural time. one. Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh, no. What perfect timing. So that would have been a plus six? <laughs> okay, so I, I, the first thing I'll do is ask... Does it may still, like, if it rolls low enough, still could get damaged by this. Uh, no, it's rolled a 16, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> I try. I've just missed it on the way up. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna get um, you're gonna get your own trauma, um, and something related to this move that you've absolutely utterly failed at. Um, what could you wings. What could you have? Um, so a, a trauma is not a it's damage. Okay. It's not like you can't. It wouldn't be breaking things, um, but it would be. Um, I don't know, maybe you could, uh, I don't know, dizziness sounds like too much of a, a temporary state. This is something that you, to get rid of a trauma, you have to roll successfully against it three times. What about the Or bends? roll once with a nat 20. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, it, it was a fairly shallow uh, <laughs> bomb, but yeah, we could say you got the bends. Sure, that works. Um. Uh, so anything that would incur the uh, the bends on you, uh, or that have the bends have an effect on you, um, I guess you're a bit um, unstable. Um, maybe your your hearing's gonna have uh, mm. gone a bit. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's it. Okay, cool. All right. So <laughs> um, 
Nick, you try and do this, uh, this, uh, Barry tries to do this ridiculous, uh, flying into the air, spinning around move, but as you, as you rise up out of the water, it's like, your ears pop, it's like, oh, no, oh, oh, that's and you splash down into the water, just like, laying on the surface, <laughs> oh, no, oh, I'm bitten off more it's than I can chew, <laughs> um, yeah, but um, monkey, we need a better turn in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Bree, um, what is what is Coil doing? Um, you you're, you're among you're in amongst all the the other pumpkins. Um, you know where they are. You know they're kind of secure in their position. They're not going to be going anywhere. Yeah, <clears throat> you've seen guess... Monty swim off. Yeah, uh, so. I, yeah, I guess I just sort of do a quick. Um... Sort of an electro scan, so I remember where the where uh, where this position is. Oh, I make you roll for that. That's fine. Oh, yeah. That. And do I help Monty or do I? Uh... Yeah, I guess I'm going to move to help Monty. Yeah, the okay, best. So is he... mm. Is the? I mean, is the shark still attached to him? Um, the shark is not attached to him, but the yeah, I mean, Barry is just looks like he's laying on the. Just, like, having a chill time. I'm having a nap. I'm hibernating again. <laughs> okay. In that you case... remember to put your butt plug in? That's where oh, the yeah. shark's gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm abandoning Barry. I'm abandoning Barry. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, so like, I'm gonna... Whenever you fall asleep, there's a vacuum in. <laughs> oh, God. I'm abandoning Monty as well. <laughs> Good, it's about it. <laughs> You've had enough. This is it. I'm done, I'm lads. I'm out of here. <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm going to sort of um, roll back into my uh, bathysphere form and sort, of, and sort of float over to Monty. And is there any way for Monty to sort of communicate what he's already seen or...? Yeah, I mean... I... This is all made up anyway, so I'll, I'll say you guys can talk underwater or like communicate in some way. <laughs> I, I just got limbs like. <laughs> okay. Um, and yeah, I'll say you can get over to where Monty. Um, okay. That's, that's okay. Um, but if you want to do anything further, if you want to go towards where Monty is indicated, then you'll need to uh, you'll need to roll for that. Okay, so since I know where Monty's gesturing. I'm basically going to sort of, um, I'm basically going to dive in sort of unrolled form, roll up into a ball, and um, try and uh, just uh, give a massive electric burst of electricity. Okay. Um, all right. Let's roll for that. Then. Okay. So. Oh, it's plus three just... electricity now, isn't it? Yep. Plus uh, three electricity. Uh, so is that going to make it plus seven? Um. So wait, what what are you what are you including? Um, You're including squirrel, armadillo, yeah. and electric girl? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how much the squirrel plays into it. Yeah, but I was just thinking I'd need the squirrel form just to get the initial swim forward, because otherwise I'm just going to just be in sort okay. of ball form. I'll I'll give you I'll give you the squirrel webbing. Um okay. that'll give you a good flap. So you get a plus five on this. Webbing okay. uh, armadillo electricity. That's more than fair. Okay. Here comes that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, imagine if we all just went in ones in a row. <laughs> uh, that's a three, so I'm, I'm, that's a seven. Okay. Um, you are quite close to Monty. <laughs> so this could, uh, this could backfire on Monty. Um, uh, Monty, you're going to have to try and shield yourself from getting a, a bit of a zap here. Um, what have you got? Uh, Gales. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. So, uh, it was a seven, you three. Yeah. Okay, so, um, Monty, you've got to beat a 13 to not get zapped. I did not. That's an eight. Ooh, okay, you take five points of zappy damage. Me. Um, I, you're still on 25, but I mean, so far, the most damage... Um, anyone has gotten has been from Bree, so <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. 
<laughs> she can't um, be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's not like, it's not a full on bit. She, <laughs> um, <laughs> Coil does manage to get a, a little bit distance between you, so it's not like you get in a full dose, but you you get a bit of a zapping, and um, you you know this time that like, that was definitely from uh, from Coil, no no mistaking that. Um, and uh, actually, not food. It, it round Friends to Monty's turn. Friends are not food. <laughs> <laughs> I just put a sort of gesture towards the squid uh, in the hope everyone blames him. <laughs> Yeah, that's like squid. That that could happen. No, I'm I'm just gonna continue with my original plan to go in, uh, tail propelling like, and she coil a dirty look as you go past her. Okay. <laughs> just right, just focus on jumping. <laughs> let's have you roll for that then. Uh, that's going to be with the be the dragon and the thief at twenty. Okay. Oh, I've rolled a two. Okay. Ooh, that's that's um, some always. <laughs> so I, I get plus three octopus on that, so it's a five total. He takes 15 points of damage. Uh, so yeah, I okay. You... Might be enough for me to sever a tentacle. Get some calamari. Uh, <laughs> Start eating again. <laughs> you don't manage to sever a tentacle, but no, you, no. you do manage to latch on. Um, and let's say you get, actually, you get quite close the 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 center like you get quite high up on a um on a tentacle and you cause a huge amount of pain and as you get right up things face you like oh shit it's not a squid it's not an octopus it's a fucking mole it's a mole face with octopus limbs um and uh yeah uh like a star nose mole it is uh um... oh my god the star nose mole those are mm. so I, don't I don't know yes the star nose <laughs> Have you got the image of the the multiple? Yep. Yeah, there it is. Um, I I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't able to find a picture of a a, a royalty free picture of a, uh, a star nose mole, unfortunately. So you've got that, but that's horrible enough as it is. Um, and um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, it it lets out this horrible scream as you as you're biting into it, and it drops. Um, four of the pumpkins that it was carrying um and it is it's still kind of tangled up in the reeds and it's kind of thrashing around and it's got you attached to it it's like no no my pumpkins no <laughs> um, and uh yeah actually it's it, it's it's turn right now so i shall um uh yeah it's going to try and get you off of it um and it is going to get its like its other three tentacles um the f so it's dropped four it, it was carrying eight pumpkins it's dropped four of them um, one of which came from the tentacle that you have latched on so it's got three free tentacles at the moment which are going to come around and try and grab you to pull it off uh and it has rolled a 14, so that's a 17 you have to beat to try and um, stay attached to it. Okay, well, plus two from the thief, obviously. And I'm going to try and, uh, like, spin around while holding onto the tentacle. Like, twist it while okay. I'm trying to, like, torch. Right. So I'm going to take those pure dragon points for that spell if, if, if you allow yeah. it. Go for it. Uh, that's still only a 13, unfortunately. Okay. Um... So, uh, what did I say? I said 17. Uh, mm -hmm. You take uh, 13, you said, yeah? So you yes. take four points of damage. No, wait. That's not maths. Uh, four. There we go. Uh, so you're down to 21 HP. Um, and uh, you are also going to incur a temporary effect of... Um, uh, similarly to what Nick got earlier, numbness. Mm -hmm. I assume on the body. Uh, yeah, this is just going to be a, a general numbness. You with three tentacles, it's gotten like kind of all over you. So this is just a general numbness on, uh, but it's only a minus one. Similarly to Nick, it will affect you until your next turn, including your next turn, um, and. Uh, after that, you can roll uh, to uh, shake it off. Um, but it's only minus one. You'll be fine. You'll be fine with a minus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
It 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 is the mean easiest the damage done by natural one. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and actually, what this is, this is um, it has a spider venom in its um, in its uh, tentacle um, suckers. I don't know what they're actually called. Um, yeah, uh, and that is what is incurring this numbness. Uh, makes a successful hit. Um, so uh, yeah, you are you are delatched. From the multipus, and we are background to Nick with the Sharfa. Um, oh, it's the Sharfa's turn actually. Um, uh, Nick suffering from the the minus one bend, um, and uh, the I think the this Sharfa is actually still unharmed. Uh, is going to um, uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna swoop in for a bite um, and. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say you're floating like face up on the top of the water at this point, so it's just going to try and uh, fly in towards your bum and take a good uh, good nab at it. And it rolls a 12. Um, so um, with the shark teeth, that is a 14. I'm going to try and use my stinger to essentially like sword fight, like just bat it away as it's coming in. <laughs> I like it, I like it. So right. zero basically on the, on the roll because I've got the bends. Yep. Here um, we go. <laughs> That's a natural twenty. No way. Okay. <laughs> wow. Shit me. You have the bends for one fucking turn. All right. So yeah, normally to get rid of a trauma, you have to roll a success again. But if you roll a nat twenty, it disappears instantly, and you get your evolution. So, <laughs> uh, plus two beasting, or would you like something? I think I'm gonna go plus two beasting. I think I'm. Yeah, it's getting more. It's getting more poisonous. Jeez, man. Okay, right, yeah. Um, uh, so you, you don't do any damage on uh, the, a defense, but uh, yeah, you, you very uh, handily manage to um, hold this thing off. Um, it, you, you shake your head a little bit, and you're like, oh, fuck, that wasn't the bends. Just, just popped my ears, it was fine. <laughs> yeah, it was nowhere near deep enough for it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you were like five meters under the wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you just managed to fend this Sharfer off. Uh, as soon as the butt block got out of the hole, it just slapped the baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that means it's my go. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go and I think dive underwater, and I'm gonna try and skewer it with my my stinger. I'm, I'm picturing some sort of like synchronized swimming kind. Of... <laughs> yeah, just like. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna try and use uh, the flippers to coordinate myself down and get give give some thrust and apparently kick my uh, curtains out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I and then sting it so that'll be a, yeah. a plus three on this. Yeah. <laughs> Four, so seven. <laughs> I mean, it could still work. Uh, I've rolled a ten, so no, has not. <laughs> no, um, just missed, you, straight past. <laughs> you, you two are just having a bit of a back. Yeah, I really hit each other. Uh, it almost looks like you are actually having a synchronized swimming little dance thing going on. It's beautiful. It's the duel of fates. <laughs> we're we're going to be at this for the rest of time. <laughs> it's just a dance off. Oh my god! Does this mean oh, that Barry Rachel gets cut in half? Pro probably with with some of my rolls, probably. <laughs> okay. <Bye -toil>. um, <laughs> three. You're, you're back. To, we're back to coil now. Um, having just sapped your buddy, um, okay. who has uh, now dived in amongst the reeds, uh, started tussling with this uh, multipus. What are you gonna do? Okay. I think I'm gonna try a bit of a more defensive. Um, am I guessing an echo somewhere? Mm, I'm not hearing one. Getting one. Okay. Maybe it's just me. I'm going to try something a bit more defensive. So I'm going to try and swim a bit closer. And I'm going to sort of uh, try and taunt the octopus. Well, octomole. And then I'll roll up into a uh, ball again. And just sort of charge myself for electricity. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, uh, so we'll, uh, we'll do this as a... As similar to back in the farm. You, this will be a prep roll. Um... 
Okay, am I uh, bowling with armadillo and an eel then? Yeah. Or... Okay, that's plus four. Come on, make this a good one. Uh, that's an 18. Oh, blimey. Okay, so you'll get a um, plus two to a defense roll. Um, and uh, I'm going to roll for the, for the multipus to if they are kind of taken in by your taunting. They are. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they, they disengage from um, the uh, from from uh, Monty and turn their attention to you. Uh, they're like, oh, you stay pumpkin. away from my pumpkin. <laughs> Big words for some uh, pre-sushi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ooh, it's, ooh, ooh, yeah. Insults coming out now. Okay, right. Um, uh, so there's that. Uh, so Andres, the uh, the multipus has disengaged from uh, a bit of a, a, a stingingness and um, is heading off towards um, Bree uh, Coil. And um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's got its back turned to you, but it's got so many limbs that it, it's not like defense such. Uh, I'm just uh, still taking advantage of the situation and going in for another plank because okay you you want it's another, been at least a, another it's been at least an hour I think since the last snack <laughs> <laughs> and especially since coil is now uh, mentioned it's got to get your hunger on hmm. yeah mm. <laughs> okay uh, let's let's roll for that then um so you'll have this is my Scooby um... snack <laughs> 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 of course of course uh, All right. right, so you'll have your minus one from the number still. Um, mm -hmm. but, uh, so that's plus four total for the yeah. maneuver and, and the biting. So that's a 15. Oof, okay, right. Oh, I've got a 19. Um, yeah, uh, you go in for the you go in for the bite again. But uh, yeah, the multiples is, um, I, want, I was going to say arms. The, the, the tentacles just kind of are coordinated enough that it manages to avoid getting uh getting uh snacked by you um but you you're pretty up uh, up close in there you're you're right amongst it um which uh might pose a problem when uh when it sets off breeze uh electricity but we shall see what happens when we come to that um and actually yes it is multiple um so uh, i was also going to ask something um can <laughs> Can enemies evolve with a natural 20? Yes. So, technically, the uh, shark offer could become, get a swordfish sword, and they could have to evolve oh the uh, We can only hope. We can only hope. Um, so, uh, yeah, Multipus is um, going in for the kill on, um, on uh, Coil. Uh, uh, completely unaware that is uh, like a, a charged ball of uh, electricity right now. Um, it's going to go in and um, yeah, and it's going to try and grab you. Um, and its intention is it, will, it wants to like wrap a tentacle around you and throw you um, out of the water. And it rolls at twelve as plus octopus is uh, fifteen total. Um, so you can roll your defense, and you get your plus two from your your charging this before. Oh yeah. Okay, mm. so I'm gonna for defense. I'm going to use armadillo and eel, so that's plus four, and so that's plus two again, so that's plus six. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's a um, ten. I, I realise I've picked up my dice. I can't remember what I rolled. Does anyone remember what I rolled? Uh, 15, wasn't it? Okay, yeah. so we'll say that. 15. Um, yeah, oh yeah, it was a 12 I rolled and it was plus 3. Yeah, good memory, thank you. Um, and you just rolled a... What did you say? Uh, 10, I rolled a 4 and I had a plus 6. Uh, okay, cool. Alright, so you take 5 points of damage. Uh taking you down to 24 HP um, and yeah uh, you you set off your um, like I don't know uh, electric bomb kind of thing uh, 
but the the multipus is just it's just fast enough that it like sticks out its um its uh, tentacle gets it around you and um flops you out of the water um towards the shore um and you you land just on like the other side of the reeds um uh but your your reactions aren't quick enough your 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 zappiness in time and um that actually goes off mid-air um as you're flying out of the water um you look like yes. a Capricorn, not a human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, yeah, I just sort of sight. Mm. I just sort of land in the water. I'm like, <laughs> spikes. <Don't... laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, but uh, what I will say is because cannonball armadillo form, um, the um, the spider venom doesn't manage to penetrate the shell so uh, you don't suffer from the same numbness that the other two have um, uh, and we shall switch over to Barry and the Sharfer with the, the impossible uh, never ending fight um, the eternal fight yeah <laughs> yeah locked in battle <laughs> it's um, it's uh, I guess yeah a face to ass with you um, fighting away trying to get uh, trying to work its way around your stinger um still using uh, just its uh shark teeth um and it is a 17 that you have to avoid this time i'm gonna try and avoid it uh no i'm gonna i'm just gonna use bee stinger i think i'm gonna try again i'm gonna try and joust it basically fence it away uh that's a 15 in total okay so you take two points of damage. this is the first damage you take um so you take two points of damage and um yeah it's 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 not the, the worst nip it doesn't manage to get on um mm. but it takes a little chunk of fur out of the bum um, yeah, maybe it like does a little tear ow worse than i'm waxed bloody hell Great um, um but it, it's now your turn to counter it's over <laughs> all right uh, because I know it's close, because I've just felt the pain of it, um, I'm going to try and rotate really, really quickly, grab it with my bear claws, and take a bite. Um, okay. So I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use plus four bear on this one. Okay, I'd give you whale flippers as well for the... Okay. So I'll do plus say. five. That is a 15 plus five, 20. Okay. Let's see. Oh, 19. Um, okay, uh, so you do one point of damage. Finally, finally you land it. <laughs> uh, so uh, you, you both just managed to do the uh, like a similar thing, and you, he's taken a little nip out of you. You've taken a little nap out of him. It's it's just like you're having a friendly little uh, tussle. <laughs> so it's, it's very cute. First blood <laughs> on both sides for them. <laughs> See now, you, you went from having a dance off. Now you're having. Yeah, just nice little up kiss. close. Just a little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, right, that's happening. That's a, yep. I mean, I mean, it's no wonder the other two are you on your own. You're just clearly having a nice date. <laughs> <laughs> um, Both okay. is being understood. <laughs> um, Bree, Coil has landed uh, over on the shore amongst the reeds. Um, you're not that far from... Um, the Multipus and Monty, um, but uh, yeah, you can see that they are close together, um, and you've you've taken a small amount of damage, um, but you're not particularly like heavily wounded. Okay, do I know where the beavers are? There, you have seen no beavers. Okay. In that case, um, I'm going to try the Queen Metroid maneuver. Instead of uh, trying to shock it, what I'm going to do is, because the tentacles are the, clearly the dangerous part of it, I'm going to try and roll up and get into its mouth, and then shock it from there. You're trying to get it inside the octopus? Yes. Gross. Okay, I love it. Um, let's do it. Um, <laughs> let's roll, I guess, uh, armadillo? Yeah, I'd say I'd roll, um, I'd use my flying scroll to just sort of propel myself, roll into armadillo. And then obviously I'm using yield to attack. Oh yeah, of course. 
All right, um, uh, plus five then. Okay. Funny, actually, none of my attack rolls actually seem to be working, so... Yeah, you use all your just... good dice earlier. It's just to... Oh, there goes my dice. Where have you gone? <sighs> I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, and they never saw Bri again. <laughs> I think you can still see uh, the character's tail move. I want the uh, I want a squirrel to pop up now. <laughs> <laughs> we can see the squirrel tail though, so that's good. This is where she does a quick change into a squirrel costume. <laughs> <laughs> No idea where this dice has gone. You can get another dice, right? You can I, actually that was my... use that bre bread as a tail. <laughs> I thought you were say as a dice. The bread will not work as a dice. <laughs> I mean, oh, it, it will work as a coin. Um, <laughs> I'll need to re-roll, but I'll need to... <laughs> I found it, I found this. <laughs> Welcome back, Rick. <laughs> This is where the dice the, the are. The bread bits are very good. Yeah. Um, you know what? There you go, there's your squirrel tail. <laughs> that, bit. Yeah, okay. that looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have snaps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, plus five. Yeah. Uh, that's a 16. Nice, okay. Oh, I've also rolled a 16. Um, so, what I'll say is you don't manage to do any damage. Um, uh, maybe you just aren't able to activate your, your zappiness um, from that position, but you do manage to get somehow into position in its mouth. Um, so, um, yeah, you're definitely in a, a position where you can do something horrific next time. But uh, not exactly this time. Um, Andres, I, I have no idea what this would do to you being, maybe I, I kind of imagine being on the underside of the multipus. So you're just kind of seeing its tentacles and you've just seen your, your mate just come and swim, fly, glide over and then just launch into its mouth. Um, and um, yeah, it, it, mm, that's a thing. Uh, I mean, we've probably been at this for years. I've seen worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. What, what's uh, what's Monty gonna? I'm yeah, probably gonna continue doing what I uh, what I've been doing, trying to get a little snack. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's uh, snack attempt number three. That's, uh, yeah, let's that's uh, thirteen again. Okay, <clears throat> I think what I'll say is because it in its mouth, is it's it going uh, yeah. to have a minus one like maneuverability. Um, so uh, it is; it still gets its plus three octopusness um, to try and uh, fend you off, uh, but it'll be minus one, so plus two total. And I've got an eight. What did you roll? A natural eight, so uh, that was a thirteen on my part. Okay. Uh, so the multipus takes three points of damage, and maths is still working at quarter to eleven. <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, okay. You you take a small um, nick out of uh, one of its uh, one of its other tentacles. <laughs> you take Nick out. Nick's gone. Um, <clears throat> pretty sure the. Uh... The Sharper is taking me out at the moment. <laughs> yeah, no, the Sharper's taking Barry out. Oh, yeah. Monty's taking Nick out. <laughs> <laughs> Go straight for the player. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, okay, so the Vault, uh, it drops another one of the, the pumpkins it was carrying. It's now carrying only three pumpkins. Um, and uh, it's got a, a mouth full of um, coil. And <clears throat> it's... It, it's trying to say something, it, it, but it can't because it's got a mouthful. Well, would you say you're coiled up and ready to strike? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, it's an electric coil. 
<laughs> uh, I only just got on that. How? Three hours later. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, it, it's I mean, going... the name's been there for weeks. <laughs> Yeah, I just tried to sort of evoke a sort of a cyberpunk hacker's name. It's um, it's um, yep. Yeah. Uh, the okay, the the multipus is gonna try and get. It's it's kind of giving up the fight, and it's just like trying to scrabble away, um, and um, it won't be an attacking role, but uh, the opposing role would be for you two to try and stop it or um restrain it or whatever you want to do but it's trying to get to shore um and it has rolled an 11 um and it will have plus two from the uh plus three from the octopus minus one from the mouthful of coil um so that is a 13 total um and you can both now roll to try and stop it from getting away or whatever you want to do with it yeah i'm gonna hold on to a tentacle for a 22. Fuck it, hell. All right. Wow. <laughs> Imagine if I wrote these numbers while de dealing damage. <laughs> um, you're, you're in its mouth, Bree. Um, uh, sorry, Coil is in its mouth. Um, Bree, you're fine. Um, <laughs> um, I guess you could probably zap it, I suppose. There's mm -hmm. not a lot of movement you could do, but you could do a plus yeah. three electricity roll. Yep, I'm going to try and give it some uh, electroshock therapy. Just uh, not like a... Just to sort of try and stun it. Because mm. presumably I'm right next to its brain. Yep. Mm. Although someone was telling me the other day, actually, um, have like eight brains or nine brains. They've oh, yeah, yeah. They have one in each tentacle. But which is wild. Um, presumably an Oxymar would also have more of a mammalian brain to it. Mm -hmm. This is true. The things you learn, honestly. I swear, like, since I've made this game, I just kept coming to me on, like, Twitter and that, being like, did you know this about this animal? Have you seen this weird creature? Is that a six? Yep. Although okay. in binary, that I believe that would be... Oh, no. Not the binary. Uh, that's two... Wait, no. Uh, two plus four, so that would be uh, zero, one, one, zero. I, I came here for biology class, not math. <laughs> okay, that's computing, which is not really a subclass of maths anymore. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sorry, miss. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, any, in any case, you're, um, you're, you, you don't, you, maybe you're just too squished up in there. You just can't quite get your zapping going, um, uh, so it, it doesn't have any effect on it. But um, fortunately, Monty um, has a solid grasp and. Um, uh, <clears throat> let's say you all manage to get to shore and like you but the multipus is going nowhere it is um it has a mouth full of this other animal inside it um and a um a uh a shark teethed um bearded dragon hanging on to probably several of its limbs seeing as you rolled so high um it's going nowhere it can't say anything it's really um pretty much restrained at this point um, uh, <laughs> Nick, <laughs> you're still playing with the shaft. I don't think neither of you could have heard anything. Let's um, let's uh, let's see how this plays out. Uh, at some point, probably it's just going to get bored or tired and just <laughs> bugger off. Um, no, this date is not working out. Um, but you yeah, try it's, talking it, to it. It's still going to try and bite <laughs> you. And, it, and actually, yeah, like the, the whole time this is. My spice. I need my spice. Oh, give me my spice. Um. Oh, fuck me. I rolled a three. Um. <laughs> so you just have to beat a five. Okay. I'm gonna use my bareness for this. I think. Just really, just shrug it off. Yeah. Uh. So that's a four plus four eight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Um. It's it's trying to get in on uh, to you to you, your skin to take a bite, but it just can't get through your fur. It's just too thick and matted. You've been in the water for so long, and it's almost like it's on my down there. Okay, um, yeah. So we'll, we'll go to you now, Nick. Um, uh, how are you going to respond to I'm this thing getting caught in your fur? Try and is it stuck in my fur right now? Yeah, let's say that. I'm gonna take off. 
I'm going to get it out of its element. Because it's okay. good in the water. Oh, I'm going to get in the air. It can't do much in the air. So I'm going to I'm going to take off out of the water. Um, and then I'm going to try and just shake it off over some ground. Like, I'm going to try and go high up and try and shake it off over some ground so it falls. Okay. All right. Let's 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 go for that, then. So it's only going to um, be plus one yeah. on, on this. Uh, that's a 17 plus 1, 18. Oh, jeez, okay. This could be it. Right. <clears throat> um, I guess it's just gonna try and hang on for dear life with its, uh, shark teeth. And it's rolled a 7. Okay. Uh, so you, yours was an 18. Mm. Uh, yeah, you, sh you, you, you launch out of the water, um, and, uh, this big wet bumble bear flies over towards the shore and drops and uh it's uh you, you shake it off it falls out of the sky and you do uh what did you roll 18 yeah 18 yeah so you do 11 points of damage it is down to eight health um and um yeah it splats on the ground and um it, it hits with a hell of a thud and um starts uh just kind of scrambling around and it's definitely uh panicking um the it, let's say the shore that you've dropped it on is uh right next to where the others are um and <laughs> it can it looks over and it sees its boss it looks over and it's like oh no mr longmole mr longmole my spice gonna come from um and uh it just kind of uh accepts that this situation isn't going to go its way and uh, uh runs off into the into the woodlands um and we'll say this is this is combat over at this point. You've uh, you've successfully restrained the multipus. Um, uh, does does coil come out of its mouth at this point, or go in deeper? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I am the best pill in your life, and you better be ready to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna roll out. Roll out. Hot pots. <laughs> I'm gonna breath roll out. Oh, nice. Nice. No. Um, okay. Uh, as, as you come out, it's just like. <coughs> it is, it's kind of gagging. It's... Oh, no. Okay. And it drops the last three pumpkins that it was holding. It's like. Okay, I I give up. I give up. No more. Um, and it's like shaking its uh, tentacles. Uh, has Monty attached? Uh, Monty, you gonna let go at this? Staying no. attached. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And he's like, ah, oh, please, please, please get off. Look. Okay. I'll. I'm sorry. I won't take any more pumpkins. You can have the pumpkins back. Um. Look, I just really love pumpkins. I've been trying to make the perfect pumpkin pie. Um, and I just, I just, I just needed the pumpkins. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I'll give all the pumpkins back. I'll even, I'll tell you what. I'll come back to the farm and I'll make everyone pumpkin pie. That does sound like a more amicable solution. What, says, what do the rest of you say? I mean, I, mean, Monty, Monty, I, I let snack. go. I let go, but I, 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 I'm not a helpful. I can't eat plant. <laughs> what if we I, made you like did a already eat a shark pie or something? I had a snack. <laughs> It'll do for now. <laughs> Today the costs grow back. <laughs> I think they do. Huh. Yeah, octopus tentacles do grow back. In fact, some octopi, octopi actually eat their own limbs if they're hungry enough. Okay. Wow. Well, a... I, I'm I'm gonna be kind because we're gonna let this bastard live. <laughs> so I'm not going to bite off any of his tentacles. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I won't, I won't do it again. I'll, I'll I'll help. I'll help the farm. I'll help them get back to their 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 full operation. I'm sorry, um, and 
yeah um at, at this point um you can help uh gather all of the uh, all of the pumpkins from the bottom of the pond he, and he will give you a hand uh take off with uh, some of the pumpkins towards the the farm and uh, after a few hours of going back and forth because there was a um, you managed to get all of the pumpkins, pumpkins back to the farm. Uh, the um, the 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 starrett and the sneer are, are both very relieved, um, somewhat angry at the at the multibus, but are happy to have their supplies back, um, and so happy with everyone and everything that is is worked out. They invite you to stay, and um, we'll have a, a an ending scene of um, all of the. Uh, all of the creatures, the possets, uh, all of you, uh, and the beavers even come to visit, and you're having a feast of these um, these lovely, delicious um, uh, pumpkin pies the multibus is making for everyone. Oh, this is there's still, still a shark. Uh, there's still a shark cover left for me as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there, there was definitely a, a very uncomfortable. Hmm. There was a dead uh, one as well that was, was eating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mustn't have any leftovers. Uh, waste not, want not. I'm gonna yeah. eat too many pies and then pass out from all the sugar. <laughs> yeah, you can just go and have a nap in. <laughs> and, and Sneer's like, no, that's my pregnant. <laughs> oh, well, that was that was a lot of fun. That was. Um, I really yeah, enjoyed that. that. Thank was, you so uh, much for running that for us. <clears throat> Um, and bang on 11, that's not bad timing. Yeah, not bad at all. I've periodically been putting the link in the chat for where you can get Overgrown, the game we were just playing, made by Ben, um, who you. is above me, but not above me in Discord, so it's quite confusing. He's actually <laughs> there in Discord, but he's up here on the layout. Um, so do go check it out. I strongly recommend uh, it. Once, once again, English, wait, wait, yeah. Am I pointing in the right direction? Yes. Yes, you are. You're, bo you're, bo you're all, everyone's pointing at Ben. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once this again, is, though, yeah, not a sponsored stream, Discord. not anything like that, no review code or anything like that. I paid for that because I looked at the rules and I was like, mm, I want this. Uh, and and now you can see why, and now I've seen why as well. Is this was the first time I got to play it, and I really, really enjoyed it. That was that was really good fun. I love the chaos that ensues <laughs> as, as things start as things start to pile on, as the as the extra mutations and the traumas start to pile on. It gets it goes really mad, and I love. I yeah, I really love that. Very creative solutions to problems as well. So it's, yeah. it's a really simple system, but it's it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun. and every time I've played this with anyone, it's been like ridiculous and fun and silly, and that's that's what it's completely supposed to be. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I I'm itch funding, um, so um, please pop over to my itch, help me reach my goal. I've got a ridiculously high goal. Um, that I don't imagine I'll ever reach, but um, the closer I get, the more I can do with it. Um, uh, it's different to a Kickstarter because I don't have to reach that goal to get the money. I get the money straight away so I can instantly start putting it into the development of the game. Um, my current um, target is to hit a grand. I think I'm at like $830 or something before this stream. And if I when, when I hit a grand, I will be able to get uh, one of my friends... Uh, um, to uh, do a, uh, a map for the, the first scenario that I've written um, and it's a map of a squirrel um, village up in the treetops uh, so that's going to be really fun um, hopefully I can teach that soon and get that going that sounds good fantastic. love that well thank, thank you firstly to Ben for running this and also to, to Andres and Bree for uh, playing with me this has been really good fun um and because we're getting to 11 o'clock, I'm going to have to end pretty quick because I've got a full day of work tomorrow. Normally I do this on weekends, so I don't have to worry so much. But yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to stop pretty soon. So uh, I think we're going to skip the outro screen and probably just straight end. And uh, Thanks for having me on, Nick. Won't do the raid. No problem. It's been wonderful having you. Thank you for the game. Good night, everyone. <laughs> and I'll see you all tomorrow where we'll be on YouTube doing Death of a Hero. Uh, where I believe we're we're going to be mourning the death of legally distinct Batman, um, but who knows? It might all change. Like the ideas have been going thick and fast, and I'm really looking forward to that. 
And then on Sunday, I will be doing a Halloween stream. It will be Alien Isolation. I'll have the heart rate monitor on. I've been screaming along to Bree's playthrough, and now I'll try it myself again. <laughs> so that'll be terrifying. Uh, and yeah, I hope you all have good weekends and, and good coming up weeks. And goodbye. Night. <laughs>